This year for the best and worst cases video for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra, we're going big. So big that I can't even fit all the cases that I have for you in this video on this table. I also want to give a huge shout out to everybody who left me a comment in last year's video. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you're new here and you like what I'm doing, make sure you smash that like button because it really helps out the channel. And you're not going to want to miss any part of this video because I'm going to be going through each and every one of these cases to let you know which ones are the worst and which ones I think are worth your time. Now I will also be putting timestamps and product links in the video's description because this is going to be a lengthy video, but stick with me because I guarantee you're going to find one case here you're going to absolutely love. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I will be giving you my favorite case picks based on a few different categories. And if you're interested, I will also be putting a link to my best and worst screen protector video for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra in the video description as well. So grab your snacks, sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. And here we have the Taurus O-Stand case. This one accessory includes all the important features you would want in a case. The O-Stand case puts a regular case, a stand, a MagSafe connection, and a ring all in one place. This case also has three times military spec protection, but it keeps the phone pretty slim and has raised edges on the front and the back of the phone to keep your screen and camera lenses nice and protected. The stand on the back of the case offers you two different modes of operation. One, you can stand your phone up so you can take some zoom calls, or you can lay it down in a horizontal mode so you can watch some YouTube or Netflix. And when you're done with the stand, it easily folds right back up into the case, nice and flush. The MagSafe ring in the back not only allows you to use the MagSafe accessories, such as their MagSafe power bank, but it's also magnetic and allows you to stick it to things that are metal like a refrigerator or a stove hood, so you can easily watch your favorite cooking recipe while you cook. The kickstand really comes in handy for me because I actually like to watch YouTube while I'm brushing my teeth eating my breakfast, and when I need to take selfies using the S Pen from a distance. Now this case does come in two different colors. It comes in this totally clear where you can show off the color of your phone, and it also comes in a nice frosted back with a black trim. So the case itself does feel good in the hand, and the buttons are nice and clicky, easily accessible. If you take a look at it from the side, you can see it does have a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. I also do have a tempered glass screen protector on the front as well. And we also have some extra protection in all of the corners on the back to help out with the back protection too. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have a cutout for our S Pen, which you can easily use to get the S Pen out of the case. We have our power buttons and our volume buttons on the side, which are separated, and I absolutely love that. On the back, it's nice and clear to show off the color of your phone. We have that MagSafe ring and kickstand all in one, and we have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. Now, like I mentioned before, this MagSafe ring on the back is also magnetic, and here I have my razor blade just to demonstrate that, so it sticks right to the back of the case. And then if you happen to have power banks, such as the Taurus O-Stand power bank here, it easily clips right onto the back, and it immediately starts to charge your phone. It also has a really strong hold on the back of the case, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessories just falling off as well. But we'll talk more about this power bank in just a minute. And it also has these little ridges in the corner, so when you put your phone on its back, you don't have to worry about it rocking all over the place if you happen to tap on the screen. And if you're wondering how much this case weighs, it comes in at 49 grams. And again, here we have that same O-Stand case, but it has a matte transparent back. Again, feels really good in the hand. Buttons are nice and clicky. It's got that nice soft rubbery TPU material on the sides and on the back. It's got that matte transparent back so it doesn't show fingerprints. I think it actually looks really nice with the natural titanium ultra. The kickstand on the back is made of all metal and it stays in any position that you're gonna be placing it. It doesn't just flop around like some of the other cases. And we'll see how much this case weighs. 
This one weighs 50 grams, so just a little bit he heavier than the clear one. And then here we have the Taurus P-Stand case and the Guardian Mag case. As you can see, these two cases are pretty similar looking, but the P-Stand case comes with a kickstand that's built in into the bottom of the case. And the Guardian Mag does not have a kickstand, but it does have MagSafe built in. And it also comes with some buttons that you can easily swap out on the side for a little bit of contrast. So if you don't need to have the kickstand on the bottom of the case, you can definitely go with the Guardian Mag. My personal favorite is definitely the P-Mag though. I absolutely love the metal kickstands that come on the bottom of the case. They do come in handy because, again, I like to watch uh, YouTube videos like when I'm eating breakfast or brushing my teeth, things like that. It's also flush with the case so you don't have any extra bumps and it's also got that mag safe built in with the nice matte back. Now unlike the Guardian mag case, the buttons on the P-Mag case are not swappable. So first off, the case feels really nice in the hand. It's not slippery. It's got kind of like a smooth rubbery feel. The buttons on the side are also very easily pressable, nice and clicky. If you look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom. And I also do, again, have a tempered glass screen protector on the phone. It also keeps your phone pretty slim, doesn't add a lot of bulk. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can easily get your S Pen out of the bottom of this case. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. On the back, again, it's got that nice matte look. It's nice and smooth. We have our MagSafe ring. We also have that metal kickstand. Super solid, does not feel flimsy at all, and it is definitely gonna stay in the position that you want it in. We also do have a raised edge around our cameras too to help with protection there. So with the kickstand, you can put your phone in a portrait mode so you can take some zoom calls or something like that again, or you can lay your phone down in a horizontal mode and watch Netflix or YouTube really comes in handy. I love how firm and sturdy it feels. And again, it folds right back into the case. So you're not really missing out on anything or losing anything because there's no bump from that kickstand. And with the MagSafe ring, you can use their power bank or any other MagSafe accessory very easily. Clips onto the back, very nice, and immediately starts to charge your phone. Again, this MagSafe case has the same great strong magnetic hold, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessories just falling off your phone. Wow, that's, that is really strong. <laughs> and it just looks really great on the natural titanium ultra. And that matte back, I think, looks really great on the S24 Ultra. Again, definitely one of my more favorite cases that Taurus makes. So the Mag Guardian case feels exactly like the O stand and the P stand case, but it doesn't have the kickstand on the back like the other cases do. Still feels really good in the hand, has the same protection for the front and the back of the phone. Again, it keeps your phone nice and slim. The thing about this case again, is it comes with those buttons that you can easily swap out on the side for some contrast if you don't want it to be all black. These buttons are very easily pressable, nice and clicky, feels really good on the phone. And again, on the back, it's got that nice transparent, smooth backing, so it doesn't show fingerprints nearly as much as some of the other clear cases out there, but we still do have that nice strong magnetic ring and the same lens protection around our cameras. Again, if you happen to have their MagSafe power bank or, some, or any other MagSafe accessory, it clips onto the back really well and immediately starts to charge your phone. In this case, has the same <laughs> strong hold on the MagSafe accessories as the other two cases do. And here we have the Banks Armor Air Case. So first we're gonna take a look at the Armor Air Case. Now this case again is super light and it's really strong because it's made of 600D Kevlar. It also has MagSafe built in and a metal ring around your camera lenses for some extra protection. Now let's see how much this case weighs. 
only 25 grams. That's pretty light. So if you're a minimalist and you want to protect the sides and the back of your phone, but make it feel like the phone doesn't have a case on it, the Armor Air is gonna be definitely for you. So let's put our phone inside the case here. Fits in the case really well, snaps into place. Feels nice in the hand. Feels just like the phone does not have a case on it, but you get that extra protection now. Oh, that's really nice. I get the buttons on the side are very easily accessible because there's a big cutout for those buttons. If we look at it from the side, you can see that there is an ever so slight raised edge kind of on the top and the bottom of the case itself. And as you can see, the phone is still super slim. You really can't get any thinner than this. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can also easily access your S Pen. On the side, again, we have a nice big cutout for your buttons on the side. On the back, we have that nice 600D Kevlar. Feels nice and smooth, and it really keeps those fingerprints down. And again, we also have a metal ring around our camera lenses for some extra strength protection there as well. I really do love this case. I mean, it feels so solid. It just, I don't know, it just feels really good in the hand. It's not, it's not slippery either. It just got a kind of like a smooth type of feel to it. That's a really nice case. And again, it does have the MagSafe built in. So if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory like I have here, I have this power bank, just put it on the back and it immediately starts to charge your phone. And that magnet on the back is also pretty strong, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. This is definitely one of the nicer, more premium, minimalist cases that I've seen for this phone, and I'm sure you're going to agree. So if you're looking for a case that's going to keep your phone protected on the sides and the back, not necessarily from, you know, a lot of drops, but maybe from some scratches, the Armor Air is definitely a case I would recommend. And then here we have the Banks Armor Pro case. And then here we have the Armor Pro case. This case has the same 600D Aramid fiber as the Armor Air with that metal ring around your camera lens, but this one has a much thicker type of TPU material on the sides to give your phone a little more protection. So if you love the Armor Air, but you want a little more protection, the Armor Pro is gonna be the case for you. So let's see how much this case weighs. So the other one weighed 25 grams, and this one weighs 43. And this case also has MagSafe built in, and that Aramid fiber continues into the inside of the case as well. Really nice. Fits the phone really nice. Feels really good in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth rubbery type feel. Buttons on the side are easily pressable and clicky. Very nice tactile feel. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that this case has a much more raised edge on the top and the bottom. It also doesn't actually add any extra bulk to the phone. It keeps the phone pretty slim too, which is nice. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can access your S Pen. It's a little bit harder to access your S Pen with this case because the cutout is not as forgiving as some of the other cases. It's just kind of like a, you know, a straight cut on the inside. There's like no bevel, so you can kind of fit your finger in there. So you might have a little bit harder time getting the S Pen out if you have bigger fingers. We also have a power button on the side, our volume buttons. On the back, again, shows off that really nice Aramid fiber. Super smooth, feels really good. And again, it keeps down those fingerprints, which is nice. And we have that same metal ring around our camera lenses for protection there too. This is definitely one of my top favorite cases. It just, it looks and feels really premium. And again, like I said, if you want a little more protection than the Armor Air, the Armor Pro is gonna be the case for you. Now as for the MagSafe on the back, again, if you happen to have that MagSafe accessory, like I have a power bank here, you can clip it onto the back and it starts to charge your phone. This also works with regular wireless charging as well. And it's really got a nice strong hold on that MagSafe accessory so you don't have to worry about it just falling off.
really, really nice case. I would definitely recommend this to anybody looking to get a nice premium case that offers a little more protection for your phone. And here we have Bases Duo Hybrid case. This case has been drop tested up to 12 feet. So here is the case. It's got a really nice matte back that does keep down the fingerprints and it also has MagSafe built in. We also have a nice ring all the way around the edge of our camera lenses for some extra protection there as well. It's also made of a nice hard backing surrounded by a softer TPU material. Let's see how much the case weighs. So this case weighs 48 grams. Feels really nice in the hand. It's not slippery, but it's not grippy. It's kind of got like a smooth, rubbery type feel to it. Buttons on the side, nice and clicky, easily pressable. I absolutely love that. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the phone. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. We have our lanyard holes on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. And those power buttons on the side, nice and glossy and separated, and makes it very easy to press. On the back of the phone, we can see that it has a metal ring all the way around our camera lenses. And it's also nicely raised for some protection for those lenses as well. On the back, it's got that nice smooth matte feel with our MagSafe built in. And as you can see, it doesn't show very much fingerprints, if at all. The ring around the camera makes the case feel that much more premium. And if you happen to have PowerPeaks charging puck like I have here, you can simply clip it right onto the back and it'll start to charge your phone immediately. This case also does work with regular wireless charging as well. Really nice case. I love how soft and smooth the back is. Another nice thing about the case that they thought of is they didn't put raised edges on the side of the case for when you're swiping, you can easily reach the edges of, of the phone. And that cutout for the S Pen makes it very easy for you to get the pen out and put it back. The Duo Hybrid is one of my favorite cases. And the case also comes in a light pink for the ladies or if you're a guy and you like pink, that's perfectly fine too. Looks really nice with the pink accented ring around the cameras and the lighter kind of flesh tone on the side. Looks pretty cool. I also love, the, I personally really like these pink buttons on the side too. They really stand out and give a nice contrast to the rest of the case. Then here we have Bases Crystal Slim Series case. This has been drop tested up to 10 feet. Let's see how much this case weighs. 47 grams and as the name suggested it is crystal clear it's got a nice hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a softer rubbery TPU type material goes in the phone very easily it does have a nice grip to it feels good in the hand it's got kind of like a texture on the side as well buttons are also very easily pressable and clicky if you look at the case from the side, you can see it's got the same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. There are those ridges on the side for some extra grip. We have our cutouts and our S Pen port on the bottom. Again, very easy to get the S Pen out if you need to use it. We have our buttons on the side. On the back, again, it's crystal clear to show off the color of your phone. looks really nice it's also got magsafe built in and it's got a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too that is pretty sharp so if you want to show off the color of your phone the crystal slim case is definitely one to get and again if you have a charging put or magsafe charger you can use it with this case as well and it also works fine with a regular wireless charging too and if you put your phone face down, because it has that nice grip, the phone's not going to just slide all over the place. So this is another really nice case option if you want to show off the color of your phone and keep the phone protected.
And here we have their ProTech series case. This case is drop tested up to 15 feet. This case is made of a two-piece design. It's got a hard polycarbonate back and it has a soft a TPU inner shell. It's also got MagSafe built in. And this is another one of my favorite cases by base. Fits the phone really nice, feels good in the hand. The buttons on the side, nice and clicky, easily accessible. If we look at the case from the side, you can see it still has a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. On the side, we have that softer TPU surrounded by the harder outer shell. We have our lanyard holes in the bottom. We also have our cutouts on the bottom here and our S Pen cutout, so you can easily access that S Pen. We have our buttons on the side. On the back, again, it's got that nice textured hard shell. Feels really nice. And it also doesn't show fingerprints either. And we have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. This case also has some reinforcements in the corners in case you happen to drop your phone and it hits the corners, your phone's going to be protected. And again, if you have a MagSafe accessory like this power puck here, you can easily clip it onto the back and it starts to charge your phone immediately. So if you're worried about drop protection for your brand new S24 Ultra, the Protec series is definitely going to be the case for you. And the case also comes in a black as well. Same drop protection, same everything, but it's just in a matte black, which I think looks pretty sleek. And then here we have the base folio wallet. This case does have MagSafe built in and it's been drop tested up to 10 feet. So if you're looking for a nice case that's gonna keep your phone protected and carry some of your money and your credit cards, the Folio Wallet is definitely a good option. And if you don't wanna use the Folio portion, you can always take the case off and you still have that nice leather wrap backing. And it clips right back in place with magnets. Very cool. The case itself does, again, have a hard polycarbonate shell surrounded by this leather material, and it's got softer TPU sides. On the inside of the case, it is covered with a kind of like a soft felt to keep the glass on the back of your phone nice and not scratched up. Case goes in the phone really well, feels nice in the hand, it's got kind of like a smooth rubber feel. Buttons, very clicky, easily accessible. If we look at it from the side again, it's got those raised edges on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't make the, the phone really thick. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can easily access that S Pen. We have our power buttons on the side, volume rockers. On the back, it's got that leather type material. And I also do have the <laughs> protector on here as well. And as you can see, it fits perfectly inside this case. And again, if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory like the power puck here, clips onto the back and starts to charge your phone. So let's put the case back in the folio portion. Again, clips right onto the side with the magnets. Looks really nice, holds three credit cards in the pockets here. It also has a big, big pocket in the side to hold some more like money or whatever else you want. And then it folds up and holds in place again with the magnet. As you can see, it's also not super thick either. Looks really nice. Again, the whole thing feels good in the hand too. Opens up very easily. And if you need to fold it back in itself to hold it like that, the little flap doesn't get in the way of the power button. You can still access it. And it still seems to be very easy to hold the case with one hand while it's folded over on itself. Now, if you're wondering, you can wirelessly charge through the folio cover, but the MagSafe is only on the inner portion of the case and not on the folio cover itself. So that's something to just keep in mind. But this is a really nice leather case. The stitching is really nice all around. It seems to be made of premium materials. It does not feel cheap. So if you wanna carry some credit cards and some money or something like that while still maintaining just the use of the case, I would definitely recommend the Folio Wallet. And here we have the Pataka Mag Easy Case 4. 
So one thing I really like that Pataka is doing is they make their boxes out of recycled materials and it also has this magnetic opening. Here's the case itself. All right, let's see how much this case weighs. It should be super light. It's 24 grams. This is one of the lightest cases I have reviewed so far. So here is the case itself. Again, like, you, like I said, it is super light and strong. You can see how thin it is. It's also got MagSafe built in and is made from the 600D Aramid fiber. It's so smooth and it doesn't show fingerprints, which is awesome. It's also got a plastic ring around the cameras for some protection there too. Put it on our phone. Goes on the phone really nice. And like I said before, it feels like there's not even a case on your phone. Feels good in the hand. It's not slippery. The buttons on the side are easily accessible. No problems there. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that there's an ever so slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And it like doesn't add any, any bulk to the phone whatsoever. It's just as thin as before you put the case on it. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can very easily access your S Pen. Again, we have the exposed sides for your buttons. Looks really nice with the natural titanium. And on the back, check out that aramid fiber. Again, like I said, it's super smooth. Feels really nice and it doesn't show any fingerprints. And we have this plastic ring around our camera lenses for some extra protection there too. This case makes your phone as thin as possible while still adding some protection. Feels really nice in the hand. I really like that. And as I mentioned before, this works even better with Pataka's MagSafe accessories. Here I have one of their car chargers. Just take your phone, clips right onto the magnet, and immediately starts to charge. And as you can see on the back, the Pataka accessory sits perfectly with this case. It doesn't go over on the camera lens, so it sits flush with the case to give you a really nice hold on the MagSafe accessory. I've been using Pataka's cases now for quite a few years, and they are definitely my go-to for minimalist cases. What do you guys think about the Pataka case? Would you pick one up? Let me know in the comments below. And this case also does come in a couple different colors as well. I just happen to have the black gray. Here we have Rinky's silicone magnetic case. So let's see how much this case weighs. Forty-one grams. It does have a nice soft silicone cover over the whole case. It is pretty rigid on the back, surrounded by a softer silicone type rubber. On the inside of the case, it has MagSafe as well as some soft suede material. Feels really nice. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone very nicely. Again, it's got that nice soft silicone type feel. Feels nice in the hand. Buttons are very clicky, easily pressable on the sides. If we take a look at the side of the case, you can see it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. On the bottom, we have our cutouts as well as our S Pen. On the side, we have our silicone buttons. On the back, Again, it's got that nice soft silicone type feel, doesn't show any fingerprints, and we also do have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses. Very nice case, and like I said before, it's got MagSafe built in, so if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory like this power bank here, you can simply clip it onto the back and it'll start to charge your phone. It also has a nice strong hold on the case, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off the phone. Now the one thing you might notice about this silicone case when you get it is the buttons on the side here. The silicone's thinner than the rest of the case as well as the bottom piece here. But all the rest of the case has a very solid edge on the phone. But it's a very nice soft silicone case. And then here we have the Fusion Bolt case. 
It's a very nice light case. It also has a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a TPU type material on the side. It shows off the color of your phone. Let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-five, thirty-four grams. Thirty-five grams. <laughs> so before you put your phone inside the case, you're going to want to peel off this protective cover and we can put our phone inside the case and then you can also peel off the backing looks really nice on the phone feels very good in the hand it's got some texture on the sides to help with grip buttons are very clicky on the sides easily pressable if we look at it from the side, you can see that it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. Here we have the texture on the sides. We have our lanyard hole at the bottom. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen. We have the same texture on the other side with the lanyard hole, our power button, and our volume rockers. On the back again, shows off the color of your phone, looks really nice. Doesn't seem to show fingerprints very well. It's still nice and clean. And we also do have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses. So that's a pretty nice case. I like the contrast between the clear and the black edges. Looks pretty cool. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion Bolt case, but this one has a MagSafe ring. Let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-seven grams. Again, before you put your phone inside, you want to peel off the protector. Then we'll put our phone inside the case and peel off the back. All right, so not only does this have a MagSafe ring, but it has a matte back. That looks nice. It feels really not, nice and smooth. Very cool. I've, I like this case. So it's got all the same properties as the Bold. Feels good in the hand, has the texture on the side, keeps the phone nice and slim. But on the back, it's got the nice smooth polycarbonate with the MagSafe ring. That's pretty sleek. And this doesn't show pretty much fingerprints at all. So now if you want to use a MagSafe accessory, like we have this MagSafe power bank, you can clip it onto the back. It'll charge your phone. And it's got a nice strong hold on the case as well. So you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. That is nice. If I was going to get the Bold case, I would definitely get this one. I really love matte cases. It just looks so much sleeker and you don't have to worry about any fingerprints. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion X case. This case weighs 37 grams. It's also got the nice clear back surrounded by the accented black color on the sides. It is made of hard polycarbonate on the back and a softer type TPU on the sides. This is definitely one of my favorite rinky cases because not only does it offer some pretty good protection, but it also keeps your phone pretty slim. So again, before you put your phone in, you want to peel off these protectors on the inside. Put our phone inside the case and then peel off the back protector. So this case feels really nice in the hand. And as you can see, it's got reinforcements in the corners for some better drop protection there. The buttons on the side are also easily clickable. Very nice. If you look at it from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. On the side, we have that texture for grip. The reinforcements in the corners, our lanyard hole at the bottom, our cutouts on the bottom, you can very easily access the S Pen. We have our serrated power button on the side and kind of like slanted volume buttons. 
on the back. You can see that it shows off the color of your phone and it's got these little bumpers all in every corner. So when you put your phone on its back and you're typing, the phone doesn't rock all over the place. We also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. Yeah, this is a really nice protective case. If you don't want something super bulky, but something that does offer your phone some protection more than just regular cases, I would definitely recommend the Fusion X. And here's the Fusion X in a camo color. This one looks really cool. I've actually used this for quite a few phones in the past years and I absolutely love it. I really like the camo texture on the back and it does have like a texture to it too, unlike the clear one. So if you like camo, <laughs> Fusion X camo is definitely the way to go. And depending on which color phone you got, the color will show through with that camo too and it looks really cool. Then here we have the Rinky Onyx design case. This is the Graffiti 2. Let's see how much this case weighs. 41 grams. So if you want to add a little style to your case, they kind of have a little graffiti on here, which looks pretty cool. This is a all TPU type case. There's no hard plastic on this case. It's got a really cool textured back doesn't show any fingerprints. Let's put our phone inside the case. I've also used the Rinky Onyx case on some of my past devices as well and it's it was great for me. Feels really good in the hands, got some grip to it. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily pressable. If we look at the phone from the side you can see it's got the same raised edges on the top and the bottom. It also keeps the phone pretty slim. We have our texture on the side here lanyard hole on the bottom, cutouts. We also can easily access the S Pen. On the other side, we have that same texture with another lanyard hole, our power and volume buttons. On the back, again, it's got that cool graffiti with a nice, like, kind of like rough-ish texture. Doesn't show any fingerprints. And we also have some raised edges around our camera lenses as well. Really nice case. If you're just looking for some, you know, minimal protection for your phone, keep it nice and slim. I definitely do like the Onyx too. And then here we have the same Onyx case, but in a blue color. Looks pretty cool. And then here we have the Rinky Onyx case with MagSafe built in. See how much this case weighs. Forty-four grams. So if you love the Onyx case, you're definitely going to love this because it has MagSafe built in, so you can use all of your iPhone MagSafe accessories. Fits the phone very well. Feels good in the hand. Buttons are nice and clicky easily pressable. If we look at the case from the side, you can see it's got the same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. We have that same texture on the side with our lanyard hole. Our cutouts on the bottom, you can very easily access the S Pen. We have a texture on the side with our power button and our volume buttons. If you look at the back, it's got that really cool texture. Doesn't show any fingerprints. And we have raised edges around our camera lenses. And then if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory, like we have this power bank here, clips onto the back and starts to charge your phone. This case also has a nice hold on the MagSafe, so you don't have to worry about the MagSafe accessory just falling off. Very nice minimalist case, and I'm happy to see that they've added the MagSafe ring too. I probably would say that I would add the MagSafe ring option for every case that Rinky sells because they do have some cases that I would love to see the MagSafe ring on, like the Fusion X. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion Clear Case. So this is a totally clear case. It has a hard polycarbonate backing surrounded by a softer TPU material. Let's see what the weight is on this case. 
33 grams. Now before you put your phone in, you're going to want to take out these protectors, put our phone inside. Fits the phone really good. Shows off the color of your phone on the crystal clear backing. Feels nice in the hand, it's got some grip to it. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily pressable. If we look at it from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge all the way around the screen. We also do have some little reinforcements in the edges here for some drop protection. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen. We have our lanyard holes in the bottom corners, power button, volume buttons. Then if we look at the back of the case, you can see it shows off the color of your phone. It does pick up some fingerprints, but not too bad. And the camera lenses are flush with the case, so no camera protection on the back of this case. If you're into clear cases and showing off the color of your phone, this is a really nice case. Then here we have the Rinky Fusion Matte Clear Case. So this is just like the Rinky Fusion Clear Case, but it has a matte back, so it doesn't show those fingerprints. It's about 32, 33 grams. Again, you're going to want to peel off the inside protector. Put our phone inside the case. This is one of my favorite Rinky cases. I'm very partial to the matte look. So once you have your phone in there, peel off the back cover. And there you can see that nice matte look. It looks just like the matte glass that's on the back of the phone. So the phone feels good in the hand. It's got some grip to it. Buttons again, nice and clicky. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. Doesn't add really much bulk to the phone at all. Landed holes in the bottom, cutouts here. You can easily access your S Pen. We have the little reinforcements in the corners again, along with the lanyard hole on the other side. We have our power and volume buttons. And on the back, again, <laughs> shows off the color of your phone, but in a nice matte look. Doesn't show any fingerprints. And again, the camera lenses are flush with this case. So no camera protection here. Definitely one of my favorite cases. I love the matte look, and I would love to see the matte on a lot of the other cases that are totally clear. Then here we have ESR's kickstand case. So the first case we're going to take a look at is their kickstand case, and as you can see, it is totally clear. It's got a nice hard polycarbonate back, surrounded by a softer TPU rubber on the sides, and we also have a full metal kickstand. Super solid, it's not flimsy, it pretty much stays in any orientation you're going to put it in, and it easily clips back into the case. You don't have to worry about this kickstand coming out because it's really in there. Now let's see how much this case weighs. Forty-two grams. Now this case also is military grade drop tested, so you know if you happen to drop your phone from a good height, it's going to be protected. So let's put our phone inside the case. Goes on the phone really well. Feels good in the hand. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky, easily pressable. And if we take a look at the side, you can see that there is a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. We also have a lanyard hole in the bottom here. There's just a little bit of extra bulk because of the kickstand bump on the bottom. And in the corners, we have these little reinforcements. In case you happen to drop your phone on the corners, your phone will be protected as well. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. On the other side, we have the power button and our volume rockers. And on the back, shows off the color of your phone. We have that metal kickstand again, and there is a raised edge around our camera lenses. Really nice case. I always really like a case that includes a kickstand because when you're eating lunch or something like that and you want to watch something on your phone instead of having to prop it up on something you have a portable kickstand with you. Now you can see this case doesn't have MagSafe built in but if you want to wirelessly charge you can still do that. And 
And let's take another look at that kickstand. As you can see, you can put the phone down in a landscape mode, or you can even stand it up if you need to maybe take some zoom calls or something like that. Again, this stand is very sturdy. You don't have to worry about it just flopping all over the place. It's gonna stay in pretty much any position you put it in. And to show you what I mean about it not just flopping around, you can also put it on its back to where the kickstand is laying down, and then you can kind of angle the phone more towards your face however you need, and it doesn't just fall down back into the case. This is a really nice kickstand. And then here we have ESR's flick stand case. So here is the flick stand case. As you can see, it's got a nice matte back to keep down those fingerprints. We also have MagSafe built in, and this case also has a metal kickstand too. Pretty cool idea. Clips back into the case. It does have a nice firm polycarbonate backing, again, surrounded by a rubber TPU. So we'll put our, so let's, let's see how much this case weighs. 58 grams. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really well. Feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth rubber type feel to it. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky, very easily pressable. If we look at the case from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add really any extra bulk to the phone. We also have those same reinforced corners as the other clear kickstand did so if you, you drop your phone on its quarter it will be protected and again like I said this case is military grade drop tested we have our lanyard holes in the bottom corner we have our cutouts on the bottom again you can very easily access your S Pen on the side we have our power and volume buttons and on the back, again, it's got that nice frosted look to show off the color of your phone. We have that metal kickstand, our MagSafe ring, and we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. Now, if you happen to have a power bank, a power puck, or something like that that uses MagSafe, you can still use this case. Like I have the ESR uh, power bank right here. You can simply put it on its back, clips onto the back of the case, and starts to charge your phone. And also the MagSafe accessory on the back has a pretty good strong hold, so you don't have to worry about the MagSafe accessory just falling off. This also works with regular wireless charging as well. You don't necessarily have to have a MagSafe accessory to charge your phone. And then this kickstand comes out really easily from the bottom. Again, you can stand your phone up in a portrait mode or a landscape and the phone is pretty much angled right towards your face from the get-go so that's pretty nice you can't rotate uh, the the kickstand just kind of opens and closed but again it's made of metal it's not flimsy it's gonna stay in pretty much any orientation you put your phone which is really nice and then it just snaps back into place really nice case uh, again, I love the fact that they incorporated the kickstand, and I also do have an iPhone where I use MagSafe accessories, so it's really nice to see that they incorporated that into this case as well. And that matte back. I, If you watch any of my other reviews, I always say that I love the matte backing. Again, it keeps the fingerprints down, it feels nice and smooth, and it looks like the glass on the back of the phone. And here we have ESR's hybrid case. So here is ESR's hybrid case. Again, it is clear, just like the other clear one we showed before, but this case doesn't have a kickstand built in. It just has MagSafe. It does have a nice hard backing, surrounded again by a softer rubbery type TPU material on the sides. This case has also been military grade drop tested, so your phone will be protected if you happen to drop it from, you know, about waist height. Feels nice in the hand, it's got a good grip to it. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky. If we look at it from the side, you can see it's got the same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. The case is also pretty slim as well. We have your lanyard hole in the bottom corner. Again, we have those reinforcements in, the, in all the corners of the case for extra drop protection. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen again. On the other side, we have our power button and our volume buttons. On the back, shows off the color of your phone. 
we have our MagSafe ring, and again, it's got the raised edges around your camera lenses for protection there too. Now, like I mentioned before, if you happen to have a MagSafe power bank or some sort of charger, especially this one by ESR, this one not only charges your phone, clips onto the back, charges your phone pretty quickly, and again, it's got a nice strong magnetic hold on your case, but this power bank also acts as a kickstand as well. So you can use it in portrait or landscape mode if you need while it's charging your phone and it holds some credit cards, your ID or whatever. So it's definitely a nice option to go along with this case because it does not have a kickstand built in. So definitely a good pairing. ESR's clear cases also do have anti-yellowing properties, so they shouldn't yellow as fast as some of the other cheaper clear cases. And then here we have ESR's Armor Series case. So this case is a two-piece design. It does have an inner layer surrounded by a harder outer shell, and it comes with two options. It comes with one inner layer that has a built-in film screen protector, or you can use the inner portion that allows you to use your own tempered glass screen protector, or even the one that ESR makes. And this also comes with some camera lens protectors as well. So your phone is gonna be protected 360 degrees. So we're gonna test out the one with the built-in screen protector. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to thoroughly clean off your screen before we install the top layer. Then we're gonna take our top layer. We need to peel off the inner portion, just like that. We also need to remove the sticker on the inside. Try not to touch the inner screen if you can. And then take this whole thing, put it over the top of your phone and press it into place. You're also gonna to wanna to take your thumb and push down on this little ring here where the fingerprint sensor is. We, want, we don't wanna see any bubbles in that little portion. Now, when you first get your case, you're gonna to need to take out the inner layer that's already in the case. And then before we put this inside the inner case, we're gonna install our camera lens protectors. So you wanna make sure that you thoroughly clean off your camera lenses as well, and then dry them off. Then take your camera lens protectors and kind of line them up the way that they are on the phone. Then we're going to peel off the backing, place this over your camera lenses, and just press them into place. And then lift up on the guide, and you're all set. Now I'll take this whole piece here and put it inside the outer shell. Just work your way around and get the rubber outer edge to clip onto the inner portion. And we're all set. Looks really nice, feels good in hand. And this is the best drop protection that you're gonna be able to get from ESR. This surpasses military grade drop testing and your phone is covered front, side, back, even the camera lenses. As you can see, those protectors fit perfectly with inside this case. Buttons on the side, easily clickable, very nice. On the front here, you can see that it does have a cutout for your selfie camera, and we also have some cutouts for the speaker as well. There's also some pretty good reinforcements in the corners for extra drop protection. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that there is a raised edge around the whole front of the screen. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone, which is nice. We have our lanyard hole on the bottom corner here. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We also have a covered charging port so you don't have to worry about any dust or anything getting in here. It's I have no fingernails so it's hard for me to get it open, but there it is. You can also access your S Pen very easily. On the other side, we have our power and volume buttons. On the back, it's got that nice, soft, smooth, matte feel just like the phone. We also have a metal kickstand and we have a raised edge for some extra protection for our camera lenses too. And as you can see, the protectors fit perfectly within the case. Then for our kickstand, you can easily pull that up. Again, it's made of all metal. It's not flimsy, so it's not gonna just flop all over the place. And you can put your phone down in a landscape mode. You can even angle it more towards your face if you really need to. And you can also stand your phone up in a portrait mode as well. 
And then once you're done, it clips right back into the back of the case. Now, as far as the touch goes on the screen here, it is pretty smooth. There is a little bit of resistance because it's not glass, but it's still fairly smooth. So you can see touch is working fine. Let's test out our fingerprints. That's one, two, three. Fingerprints are working fine, but if you're having issues with your fingerprints, just re-register them and maybe even turn up the sensitivity on the display and you should have no problems. As you can see, it's crystal clear. Again, touch is working perfectly fine. You can easily access the bottom of the screen as well as the top. And let's see what the screen looks like if you're looking at it through polarized sunglasses. And as you can see, there's like barely any rainbow effect. Very nice. So the screen still stays pretty clear. Now let's test out our S Pen. So the S Pen works perfectly on this case. There is a pretty good bit of resistance because it's not glass, but again, the S Pen works perfectly fine on this screen. And even though this case doesn't have a MagSafe ring, you can still wirelessly charge right through the case. So again, if you're looking for the best draw protection or overall protection possible for your phone, the Armor Series case is definitely one you're going to want to take a look at. So here we have the Mouse Thin PC Forest Green case. So this case is made more for a minimalist who wants to keep their phone super slim but still add some protection to the back and the sides. This also has MagSafe built in and it's got a microfiber lining on the inside to help keep the back of your phone scratch free. So let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-three grams. It does feel pretty solid. It's got a nice hard backing as well as hard sides. So let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really well. Feels nice in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth type of silicone matte feel to it. Definitely feels like I'm just holding the phone. It's so slim. Very nice. If you look at the case from the side, you can see that there's an ever so slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of this case. It also keeps the phone super slim. It's probably about as, as thick as it was before I put the case on it. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can very easily access your S Pen. We have our cutouts on the side for our power button and our volume buttons. Now the buttons are slightly recessed into the case so they don't protrude out. So you're gonna have to kind of press just a tiny bit more. It's, it's fine if you're holding the phone in your hand like this, you can very easily access the buttons. But if the phone's in your pocket, you might have a little harder time trying to find <laughs> the buttons on the side of the case. If you look at the back, it's got that matte green look to it. It also keeps down the fingerprints, feels nice and smooth, and it seems like there's just a very slight raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. Now again, this case does have MagSafe, so if you have a MagSafe accessory like I have here, we have our power bank, clips onto the back, starts to charge your phone immediately. As you can see, it sits nice and flush with the case, and it's got a pretty good strong hold on the back of the case as well, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. This also does work with regular wireless charging as well. So this case isn't going to offer you very much draw protection like some of the other cases I'm going to be showing you in this review, but this is more for people who want to add a little protection to protect the back of their phone as well as the sides from maybe some scratches and some very light drops but it's still a really nice case. And then here we have the Mouse Limitless 5.0 case in leather black. So here is the case, as you can see on the back, it's got that nice black leather. It also smells exactly like leather too. Now this case is gonna give you more of that drop protection that we saw in that video because it's got this aerogel on the inside of the case, as you can see in the green. It's lined on the inside of the case. So if you happen to drop your phone, it's going to be absorbed by this first before it gets to your phone. This also has MagSafe built in. Let's see how much this case weighs. 
51 grams. So we'll put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone perfectly, feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like a little slight texture to it on the sides, so it gives it a little better grip. Buttons are also very easily pressable, nice and tactile, I like that. If you look at the case from the side, you can see that it, it's got a much greater uh, raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, so it's definitely going to protect your phone, even if you happen to put a temporary glass screen protector on the front. If you look at the side, you can see it's got this little kind of texture with the serration. We have our lanyard hole, and it really doesn't add much extra bulk to the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Very easily access your S Pen because it's got a nice little well there, kind of, kind of chamfered on the side. On the other side, we have our power button and our volume buttons with that texture and the lanyard holes. On the back, shows off that black leather. Feels nice and smooth, doesn't seem to show fingerprints like some of the other cases, so that's definitely a plus. And we have a raised edge to help protect our camera lenses too. And again, this case has MagSafe built in, so we'll take our MagSafe power bank, clip it onto the back, and it charges your phone. You can also use this with regular wireless charging as well, and as you can see, the MagSafe accessories sit flush with this case. It's also got that same strong hold as the other cases do so your MagSafe accessory is not going to just fall off. So this is going to be one of the cases that are going to give you some really good draw protection. Now because it does have that prominent raised edge on the bottom of the case we'll do some swipe tests. So if I want to swipe from the bottom up you can very easily do that or you need to go back and get some previous windows you can do that too. It's not a problem, you just, your finger just kind of goes down and into the little well, so it's not a huge deal. Same thing with the top, you can swipe down from the top fairly easily, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Now let's test out our S Pen. I don't see any issues with writing on the screen, even though the case has MagSafe built in. So you should be fine. Then here we have the Limitless 5.0 case. This is definitely one of my favorite mouse cases to date. It's got the 1500 Aramid fiber backing, super smooth, very nice and strong case. And this case also, again, has that aerogel all the way around the inside of the case to give you that really good draw protection. This case also does have MagSafe built in, and it's got that nice, smooth, soft felt on the inside to help keep your phone from getting all scratched up. Now let's see how much this case weighs. Should be around 50 grams. 51 grams. So we'll put our phone inside the case. Absolutely love this case. Feels really good in the hand, just like the black leather one. It's got kind of like a subtle kind of texture on the sides to help with grip. Buttons again, super clicky, very easy to press. Again, on the side, it's got that prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case for screen protection. And it really doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. We have that kind of textured serration on the side with our lanyard hole. Our cutouts on the bottom, again, you can very easily access your S Pen. On the other side, we have the texture with the serration and the lanyard hole, our volume and power buttons on the side. And on the back, it's got that air mid fiber. Really nice, keeps down the fingerprints as well, and just feels so cool. Looks really premium as well. And we have the slight raised edge around our camera lenses too. And again, like I said, this case has MagSafe, so we can put our MagSafe power bank on the, on the back, and it'll start to charge our phone. And it's got that same nice strong hold as the other cases do. So again, like I said, this is my fa this is one of my favorite cases. This is the Limitless 5.0 with the Aramid fiber backing. So here we have Soupcase's UB Pro case. So this is their new Bumble color. This looks so cool. It's got kind of like a gunmetal back with 
like a fluorescent yellow accent. That looks really nice. It also comes with this really nice belt clip where you can put the phone face in or face out, whichever one you prefer. And it's also a two-piece design. It's got this inner liner that comes out that you put the phone that you put on the phone, then you put the whole piece inside the case, and it also comes with another piece that has a built-in screen protector. Now, if you are going to be using the portion that has the built-in screen protector, make sure you thoroughly clean off your phone screen before you put this on. Now, let's see how much this case weighs. 91 grams. So now that our phone screen is cleaned, we're going to peel off the inside protector. Also peel off this little piece in the inside, just like that, and then just place this over the top of your phone and then take this whole thing and put it inside the case. Press in all the sides and then you can peel off the top protector. And there we go. As you can see, it's nice and clear. There's a cutout for your camera as well as some speaker grills on the top. You want to make sure that there are no bubbles in this little fingerprint sensor, so just press that down. It feels really nice in the hand. It's got some a, a smooth rubber type feel. The buttons on the side are very easily pressable. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge all the way around the front of the screen. Now, as you can see, it does add some considerable bulk to the phone, but it's also very protective. On the side, we have that texture for grip. On the bottom, we have our covered charging port, and you can also access your S Pen. On the side, we have that same texture with a textured power button and our volume buttons. On the back, again, it's got that really cool design. Got some carbon fiber inlay at the top and a very hard polycarbonate backing that does not show fingerprints. We also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there. And we also have a built-in kickstand. So you can use your phone in a portrait mode or you can lay it down in a landscape. And then when you're done, it easily stows right back into the case with a little clip. I always love the UB Pro cases. It's very protective and it comes with the belt clip. So if you want the best drop protection for your phone, I would go with the UB Pro. The case also comes in a bluish tilt color and it also comes in this other new pattern that's called blocks. Looks pretty interesting. So now let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working just fine. And if your fingerprints aren't working correctly, just re-register them and turn up the sensitivity for your phone and you should be just fine. Now, as you can see, the screen does collect some fingerprints, but you can fairly easily wipe those away. So not a big issue there. Touch also working fine on the screen. You can easily access the bottom of the phone or the top. And if you want to slide from the sides, that's not a problem either. Now let's test out our S Pen. So the S Pen writes perfectly fine on the screen here, but there is a good bit of resistance. It's not very fun to write on this. It kind of feels like you're writing on some very fine sandpaper. It's, it's a little kind of rough, but it still works. And then here we have the Soupcase Mag XT case. Let's see how much the case weighs. 79 grams. Now this definitely has to be my favorite case. Not only does it have MagSafe built in, but it has this nice metal camera cover that also acts as a kickstand. And this is a really protective case but it also keeps your phone as slim as possible while maintaining a good drop protection. It's definitely a lot slimmer than the UB Pro. It's got a hard polycarbonate backing surrounded by a softer rubbery material on the inside of the case. It is nice and smooth and it's got some metal lining on the inside as well. Put our phone inside the case. 
fits the phone really well, feels nice in the hand. It does not feel bulky at all. Buttons on the side, very clicky, easily pressable. I love the accented red color. It looks so cool. If you look at it from the side, you can see that it's got a very prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And also, as you can see, it doesn't really add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have that texture on the side for some grip, carbon fiber inlays on the side, and the corners are also very reinforced for draw protection. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. On the other side, again, we have those accented uh, power and volume buttons, which looks amazing. On the back, it's got that really cool red. Again, we have that metal camera cover that is very sturdy. It stays in any position you put it, and it's got a soft felt on the inside. And there's also a very prominent raised edge all the way around your cameras. So even if you have the camera cover open, your cameras are still very protective. And I love that the camera cover pretty much folds flat with the case and out of the way. Now again, the only thing with this type of case is if you're using a MagSafe power bank like I am here, you're not gonna really be able to use it straight on. You're gonna have to put it on an angle to charge your phone. If you put it face on, it might stick in place and kinda charge the phone. But as you can see, it's not flush with the case, so you're not getting a very good, strong, solid connection. But if you take the MagSafe battery and you angle it like this, it clips right onto the back, immediately charges your phone, it's flush with the case, and it's got a super strong hold on the case. You don't have to worry about the MagSafe battery just coming off. It's on there really good. So if you happen to have one of those pucks, it'll fit perfectly on here, but if you're using the power bank, again, that's what you're gonna be dealing with. This also does work perfectly fine with regular wireless charging as well. And then like I said, you can also use the camera cover as a kickstand, so you can lay it down in a landscape, kind of angle it more towards you for you know YouTube or Netflix, and you can also have the phone stand up in a portrait mode as well. Awesome case. I absolutely love this. And we also have that Mag XT case in a tilt color as well. As you can see, the camera cover is silver on this. Looks really cool. So here we have the VRS Design Glide Ultimate case. As you can see, this case is pretty industrial looking. It does have a camera cover on the back to keep your camera lenses protected from scratches and dust and just dirt in general. It can also be used as a kickstand. And it's also got a really cool automatic card holder case on the back that you're probably gonna end up using as a fidget toy like I do. <laughs> on the inside here, you can see the clear design with all your credit cards, and it can hold up to four cards in the back. On the inside here, you can see it's got a clear design so you can see all your cards, and everything's pretty much smooth plastic on the inside. So let's put our phone inside the case. Case fits the phone very nicely, feels nice and solid in the hand. It's got these kind of textures on the side so you can very easily grip the phone. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily accessible. If we look at the case from the side, you can see how much of a raised edge it's got on the top and the bottom and the sides of the case for protection. And it also adds a, a pretty good amount of bulk to the phone, but you're getting that card holder case on the back. We also have reinforced corners for drop protection. And if you look at the bottom of the case, you can see that it's got this little extra plastic protrusion that comes out from the bottom of the phone that will protect the phone from drops because it won't even touch your phone if it hits this bottom. We also have these little clips on the bottom of the case too for use with the carabiner clip that comes with this case. It's got a really nice nylon strap. And then again, you've got that carabiner on the bottom that you can put through one of these holes and clip into place, and you can clip it onto your book bag, and I have something to hold your phone. And then you can see on the bottom here, it's got a little cutout for your S Pen that you can access. It's a little bit harder than normal, but you can still get it out. If we look at the other side, you can see it's got that same textured feel, as well as our power and volume buttons on the side. 
On the back, again, it's got that really cool industrial design with our card holder that can hold up to four cards. And we have that camera lens cover that you can easily open up like that to take some pictures. Very nice, covers your cameras from dust and just getting all scratched up. And it's also got a nice raised edge around your camera lenses for protection there too. And like I mentioned before, you can also use this like a kickstand so you can put it in the landscape mode so you can kind of watch some uh, YouTube or Netflix. You can put it in two different orientations, one where it's kind of angled more towards you know, your body or you can lay it down to where it's angled more towards your face. And you can also stand it up in a portrait mode as well to maybe take some zoom calls if you need. Or you can also lay it down to where it's angled more towards your face. It's pretty versatile. Works pretty good. Very nice and solid. It is made of plastic, but again, like I said, it is it's a solid piece and it's not going to just flop around. And then that card holder case, I'm telling you, if you have this case, you're probably going to end up just opening and closing. <laughs> This card holder case like I do is just kind of like a, a fidget toy. But we'll put in our credit cards, see what that looks like. So we got one card, two card, three card, and then a fourth card with some embossment on it. And it easily closes up with those cards in it. So no problems there. You can mix and match, you know, flat and embossed cards like that. And then if you need to get it out, you can kind of just... You know, get your finger in there and then pull out some cards. Not a problem. It's very nice that it holds up to four cards because, you know, you want you might want to carry your ID and some credit cards and, you know, something else. So it's definitely very versatile. Now, the one thing about this case is, is it does not wirelessly charge with, with credit cards in the back. As you can see, nothing's happening. So let's take the cards out. And we'll see if we can still wirelessly charge because this is a thicker case. And it doesn't seem to be charging, it's just too thick. So if you typically use wireless charging for your phone, you're not gonna be able to use it with this case. So that is a really cool case. And again, that was the Glide Ultimate. And then here we have the Glide Pro case in its black groove color. This case still gives you the same card holder option as the Glide Ultimate, but it's not as bulky. We have that really nice texture on the back card holder, and it looks like it's got metal on the top and the bottom as well to give it kind of like a really cool, sleek look, and it's still kind of industrial looking. On the inside here, it's got a yellow plastic for the card holder and a smooth plastic for the rest of the case. It's surrounded by a hard plastic on the back and a softer TPU on the sides. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone very nicely, feels good in the hand. It's not slippery. Buttons are easily accessible on the back. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case and it's got a little edge on the sides. On the side of the case, we have that serration for grip as well as our lanyard holes. On the bottom, we have our cutouts as well as the portion for your S Pen that you can easily access. On the other side, we have that serration again along with our power button and our volume buttons. On the back, we have a card holder case with that kind of texture and it's also got a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too but if you put if you put your phone on its back it's not going to actually touch the camera lenses anyway because of the card holder a bump but there's still extra protection there as well again just like the glide ultimate this has that automatic sliding card holder case which you're probably going to be just playing around with most of the time. But this can also hold four cards. So we'll put our cards in here. One. Two. Three. And four. And it closes up very easily. It's a very nice card holder case. Out of all the cases I've ever done a review on, this has to have the nicest card holder case that I've seen. I just like playing with it too. <laughs> so the same thing with this case, you're not gonna be able to wirelessly charge 
if you typically do. So I have the cards in the back. So now I'll take the cards out and we'll test the wireless charging again. So if you want to wirelessly charge, you're not going to be able to do it with this case, but you're still getting the added bonus of the card holder. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. And here we have iBlazon's Cosmo SP case. So this is the Cosmo SP case in a checker. I also have a couple other cases that do have some different patterns. And this year they've included a camera cover as well that also doubles as a kickstand, which I absolutely love. It's also got a built-in screen protector as well, so your phone is protected front and back. Let's see how much this case weighs. Seventy-one grams. Now, because this has a built-in screen protector, before we begin, you want to clean off your screen really well. Once you clean off your screen, you're going to want to peel off the inner protector and remove this little portion that says peel off, but try not to touch the inner portion of the screen. Then take this whole thing, put it over your phone, press it into place. You can rub down this little uh, fingerprint sensor portion right here because we don't want any bubbles there. Then take this whole piece, place it inside the outer portion of the case, just press it into place and then peel off the top layer. We can also peel off the back layer of the case too. And there you go. Feels really nice in the hand. It does have some grip to it. Buttons are easily pressable, nice and clicky. And if you take a look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge all the way around the phone screen for protection there. It's also got some extra protection in the corners we have our landed hole in the corner here. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can very easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the other side. On the back, it's got that checker pattern. It <laughs> looks pretty cool. We also have this camera ring that is made of plastic, but it's very sturdy. And you can just open it up like that. It's got some nice soft felt here to keep your camera lenses nice and safe. And it's very sturdy. Even though it's made of plastic, it's really solid and it stays in place. But we also have a, a very good sized ring that's raised above the camera lenses for protection there. So if you happen to just leave this open, your camera lenses will be protected if you happen to put your phone on its back. And like I mentioned before, you can also use this as a kickstand, whether it be in a landscape or you can even use it in a portrait mode. And then when you're done, you just simply close it up just like that. Very nice case. You can also use this with regular wireless charging. Now, as you can see, the, the screen does pick up some fingerprints, but you can very easily just wipe those away. The screen is nice and clear. As far as touch, it's somewhat smooth, but there is some resistance when you run your finger over it because it is plastic. It does have a cutout for your, your camera and your speaker grills. Let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working. Yep. Fingerprints work fine. If you have problems with your fingerprints, just re-register them and maybe turn up the sensitivity for the display and you shouldn't have any problems. You can also easily access the bottom here if you need, or the top, no problem, touch working perfectly fine. And then if you use polarized sunglasses, let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, the screen is pretty clear, Not doesn't really have any rainbow effect, but the little sensor, the fingerprint sensor, does look like a hologram. So let's test out our S Pen, but I will tell you that if you don't have fingernails, it's a little difficult to get the S Pen out. So the S Pen seems to be working just fine on the screen, but there is a good bit of resistance. It kind of feels like you're writing on like really fine sandpaper. I don't particularly like that because it's not glass. There, there's a good bit of resistance. 
So that's a pretty nice protective case. I really love the fact that they included a camera cover this year because that definitely adds some features and protection to your phone. We also have that same case in a marble color. This one has MagSafe built in and it's got that same uh, camera cover, but it's got it like a pink accent for this. Now for the MagSafe, if you're not using a little puck, but you happen to have a power bank like this, if you put it on here, it has to be kind of off center, just like this because of the way that the camera cover comes down. If you were to put it over like this, it's not really gonna fit on the case and there's like this huge gap. So it's gonna have to be put in like this, but the magnet is on there pretty good and it will still charge your phone. It's just not gonna be able to be put on there straight. And then here is the other case called Blue Fly. It's got the butterfly pattern. And again, it's got the MagSafe built in with the silver camera cover. And just like the marble, if you have a MagSafe power bank like this, you're gonna have to put it on kind of at an angle for it to fit properly and charge your phone. And then here we have iBlazon's Armor Box case. This is definitely my favorite case. It also comes in different colors in case you don't like the green, but this has a MagSafe ring built in. It looks kind of industrial. It's got the carbon fiber inlay. We also have this camera cover that is made of metal. It's also got the soft felt on the inside and it's got a built-in screen protector as well. It's super protective, very reinforced in the corners. So if you happen to drop your phone, it's definitely going to be protected. So again, because this does have a built-in screen protector, you wanna make sure you thoroughly clean off your screen really well. Then peel off the protector from the inside and peel off this little piece here. Then just place this over the top of your phone and press it into place. Make sure there's no bubbles over the fingerprint sensor. Then take this whole piece, put it inside the outer layer. Then you can remove this protective top layer. And there we go. Feels really nice in the hand. It's got some like smooth rubber feel to it with some texture. Buttons on the side are very easily pressable and clicky. As you can see, the corners are very reinforced for drop protection. If you look at the side, you can see that there's an, a raised edge all the way around the front of the phone. And it does add some extra bulk to the phone as well, but it's very protected. We have that texture on the side for grip. We have our covered charging port on the bottom here, so no dust or anything will get in there. You can also easily access your S Pen. On the other side, we have that same texture with our power and our volume buttons. And if we take a look at the back, again, it's got that industrial type look with the MagSafe ring and that metal camera cover. And the nice thing about that is you can also fold it flat against the case and it's not protruding out from the side like some of the cases I've reviewed. It's also got a very prominent raised edge around your camera lenses. So it also has a very prominent camera ring all the way around your camera lenses. So if you don't close the cover, your camera should still really be protected. Now, the only thing with this case is if you're gonna use MagSafe and you have a power bank like this, you're gonna to have to put it on an angle for it to work properly. So if I put this on the back of the phone, kind of like this, it does kind of hold in place, but as you can see, it's not flush and it kind of moves around. So if you want to fit this properly, very to have it hold strong on your case, you're going to have to put it like this and it will still ch charge your phone. But it's going to have to be kind of off at an angle because the way that the camera lenses are. But it's still got a really super strong hold. It is your MagSafe accessory is not going to come off. It's really nice. And you can also use the camera cover as a kickstand. So if you put your phone down in a landscape, you can watch YouTube and you can also use your phone in a portrait mode as well. My phone just fell, but if you, pro if you put it properly, you can use your phone in portrait mode as well. It just kind of has to be in the middle. You can also use it the other way around. So it's kind of angled more towards your face too. Again, like I said, this is my favorite case. If you want the best protection, I would recommend the Armor Box, but the Cosmo series does also protect your phone pretty good too. And here we have the Poetic Spartan case. 
Let's see how much the Spartan case weighs. 85 grams. This is one of Poetic's most protective case. It comes with a built-in screen protector and it's super beefy. It's got a kickstand on the back and it also has a cover for your cameras. One thing that I absolutely love that Poetic does is they offer you an insert that has a built-in screen protector or they also offer you an insert that doesn't have anything in it so you could use your own screen protector. This is a two-piece design case, so this inner portion comes out with the screen protector, you put it over your phone, and then you put your phone with the insert back into the, the outer case, and it totally encases your phone. So you just peel back the one corner, pull out that insert. It's got a nice hard backing surrounded by a softer TPU rubber. Now we are going to be testing out the insert with the screen protector built in. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly clean off your screen on your phone before you install this because whatever's on your phone screen will be trapped inside the case. So once your screen is cleaned off, you want to peel off the protective layer from the inside of the case and try to remove this little peel off sticker without touching the screen. As you can see, we do have a little circle and that's where the fingerprint sensor is gonna be. So take this whole piece, put it over your phone, making sure that the top cut camera cutout is on the camera on your phone. Press that into place. And then take this whole piece and place it inside the outer layer. Just press it in. And then take your finger and smooth out this little a fingerprint here you don't want to have any bubbles there and then once that's done you can peel off the outer protector and there we go your phone is now protected 360 degrees you've got your little cutout for your selfie camera we also have some cutouts for the speaker grill feels really nice in the hand it's got a nice soft rubber type feel to it buttons on the side are easily accessible nice and clicky if we look at the case from the side, you can see that the whole case has a raised edge to help protect the screen. We have a little serration on the side to help with grip. Now, as you can see, it does add some extra bulk to the phone, but your phone is very protected now, especially from drops. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. The charging port is covered, so no dust or anything gets in there. And you can still easily access your S Pen. We have those reinforced edges for drops. We have that texture on the side with our power and volume buttons. On the back, again, we have that camera cover that you can easily slide over to cover your cameras if you want to, or you can just leave it open. It snaps in place and it's not going to move around. We also have a nice raised edge around our cameras for protection there. And again, we have that kickstand. It's got kind of like this, like a leather, like a leathery kind of texture on the inlays, which looks really nice, gives it a good contrast. And then if you want to use the kickstand, you just pop it open like that. You can use your phone in a landscape mode. It's kind of angled towards your face. You can watch Netflix or YouTube, and you can also use it in portrait. So you can, you know, take some Zoom calls or something like that. And when you're done, it very easily stores right back into the case with a little snap. I love the fact that they incorporated this camera cover into their case. It's just another nice added feature that doesn't add any extra bulk to the case, but it adds features. So now let's test out the screen protector. So as you can see, it is crystal clear. Touch seems to be working just fine. As far as touch, because it's not glass, it does have a little bit of resistance when you run your finger over it, but everything's still working perfectly fine. You can still easily access the bottom as well if you need to. You can access the top without issues. Now let's see what the screen looks like as if you were to use uh, polarized sunglasses. You can see that fingerprint sensor hole. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The whole screen protector is totally clear, except for the little fingerprint sensor. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. It's like a little hologram. I've never seen that before. So now let's test out our fingerprints. So if you're having problems, you probably want to re-register your fingerprints, and that's what I'm going to do. 
So fingerprints went in really easily. Now let's test them out. That works. Fingerprint sensor seems to be working fine. No problems. So if you have problems with your fingerprints, just re-register them and maybe turn on the extra sensitivity for the display. And now let's test out our S Pen. So S Pen seems to be working just fine with this screen, but there is a good bit of resistance because it's not glass. It's kind of rough uh, actually on the screen and it actually writes just fine over the fingerprint sensor, but the rest of the screen is, I don't know, it's kind of rough. Feels like you're kind of drawing on light sandpaper. And if you want to use this with wireless charging, no problems there. So this is definitely a very nice protective case. And if you want to protect your phone with the best protection, I would recommend getting the Poetic Spartan. And then here we have the Poetic Neon case. And let's see how much the Neon case weighs. 60 grams. So here is the Neon. It's got a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a softer rubbery type TPU material. This is a two piece design. So your phone goes into the TPU and then the hard shell goes over that for back protection. I really like how they have this accented orange ring. It definitely gives a nice contrast to the case. And these cases also have been military grade drop tested. So we'll take apart the case. We'll put our phone inside the inner layer first, and then we'll take the outer shell and we'll place it over the top and press it into place. Fits really well. Feels nice in the hand. It's got a kind of a grippy type feel to it. Buttons on the side. Easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we take a look at the case from the side, you can see there's a raised edge pretty much all the way around the case. It doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. We have a nice texture that's rubbery on the side and then that hard polycarbonate material. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. We have our power buttons and our volume buttons, which are separated. I, I love that. On the back again, you have that hard polycarbonate backing with a kind of like a texture on it. It doesn't show any fingerprints, which is nice. We also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there. And it's got some exposed kind of rubber pieces over in the corner here. So when you put your phone on its back, it doesn't just slide all over the place, which I absolutely love. Then you got this accented orange, which is also kind of like a rubbery material. So if you still want some good protection for your phone, but not really as bulky as the Spartan, the Neon is definitely a good choice. And this also works with regular wireless charging. And then here we have the Poetic Neon Mag Pro. So this case is pretty much just like the regular Neon, but it has the added feature of this magnetic ring in the back. It acts as a kickstand, it's made of all metal, and it's very sturdy. So here I have my metal razor blade, and as you can see, it sticks right to the back of the case. And that's good because you can stick this case with the phone in it to something that's metal. So if you want to use it to take photos or videos of yourself while you're doing something, you won't need a tripod. We'll see how much this case weighs. 69 grams. We'll take the case apart. We'll put our phone inside the rubbery portion. And then put the hard polycarbonate back over the back and press it into place. Again, feels just like the Neon case. I really like it, it's nice and grippy. Buttons on the side are easily pressable and clicky. It has that same raised edge all the way around the phone. And even with the kickstand, it doesn't add that much extra bulk to the case. We have that nice rubbery texture on the side. We also have our cutouts on the bottom. You can very easily access your S Pen. And we have our power buttons and our volume buttons, which are separated. 
on the back again you have that hard polycarbonate material that has a texture and doesn't show fingerprints we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses we have those exposed rubber pieces on the side or if you put your phone on its back it won't just slide all over the place and we have that metal magnetic kickstand which I absolutely love. So you can use your phone in a landscape mode to watch movies, or you can also use it in a portrait to maybe take some Zoom calls or something like that, and then it folds right back up into the case. If I was gonna get the Neon case, I would definitely just go ahead and get the Neon Mag Pro because who can't use a kickstand, especially one that's magnetic? So if you have a MagSafe accessory as well, like this power bank here, it'll also clip onto the back of the phone really strong and it starts to charge your phone <laughs> like i said it's got a nice strong hold on the back too so you don't have to worry about your magsafe accessory just falling off and it's pretty flush with the case i love the fact that they incorporated this magnet magsafe kickstand ring i mean like i said who can't use that why wouldn't you want the extra added feature of this kickstand i definitely would and it also protects your phone. And then here we have a minimalist case by Thinborn. So like I mentioned before, it comes in this really nice handmade wooden box. It is covered in like that carbon fiber, air mid fiber look, very nice. We open it up to the case itself. This case is made from 600D air mid fiber. It's a tightly woven air mid fiber and it looks really premium. Like I mentioned before, it also comes with two tempered glass screen protectors and a couple installation packets. So here is the case itself. It is super light and airmid fiber is nice and strong. We also do have MagSafe built in. I don't know where they found the space to put MagSafe, but it's also in here. Now let's see how much the case weighs. It feels super light. It's only 23 grams. So let's put our phone inside the case. So the case fits really well on the phone and you feel more of the phone feel than you do the case, but the case has a, a good feel in the hand as well. It's got a nice smooth air mid fiber on the sides and on the back. The buttons are easily accessible because it has that cutout on the side. If we look at the side of the phone, you can see that it's got a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case and look at how thin it is. There's really not any extra bulk at all it's the phone is pretty much as slim as it was before i put the case on we do have our cutouts on the bottom you can very easily access your s pen on the other side we have that cutout for your volume buttons and your power button and if we look at the back you can see that it, it's covered in that air mid fiber feels nice and smooth looks really premium and it continues around the camera lenses as well The other thing I really like about this is it keeps down the fingerprints so you don't get a lot of you know smudges and dirt on the back. And again, it's got that MagSafe built in. So if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory, like I have this MagSafe power bank, you can easily clip it onto the back. It's got a nice strong hold and it starts to charge your phone immediately. As you can see, it sits flush with the case and it's got a really strong hold. You don't have to worry about the MagSafe accessory just falling off your phone. Really nice case. Again, if you want to keep your phone super slim, but still add some protection for the sides and the back, this is definitely gonna be a nice case. So now let's install the front screen protector. So the first thing we need to do is to thoroughly clean off our screen on our phone. I would keep the case on your phone because it's going to help act as a guide for the installation for the screen protector. Then we'll dry it off. Then take one of your screen protectors. I would put some guide stickers on the top of the screen protector just like this to give you something to hold on to for the installation. Then we're going to peel off the bottom protector and then grab onto those guide stickers to install it the best we can on our phone. Once it's in place, you can run your finger down the middle of the screen protector and it should adhere to your phone. The guide stickers just came off, so I didn't even bother using those. I just kind of placed it on the best I could with my hand. We do have a couple bubbles. You can try to get out with a credit card or even your finger. 
just kind of push those out. So I was able to get the bigger bubbles out with my finger, but I did use a squeegee to kind of get out the smaller ones. But there is the installation, looks really nice. It does cover your front camera, so we're gonna test that out. But if we look at the side again, we can see there is a sl still a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. So now your phone is protected on the front, the sides, and the back. As far as the touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. And for fingerprints, it does seem to pick up very minor, minimal fingerprints that you can very easily wipe away. Not bad. So now let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working just fine. And if you're having problems with your fingerprints, just re-register them after you uh, install the screen protector and maybe even turn on the sensitivity for your display. But as you can see, it is crystal clear. Looks really nice. Touch working perfectly fine. No issues there. You can still access the bottom and the top of the phone. Now let's do our polarized sunglass test. So this kind of mimics what your screen looks like as if you were looking at the screen through polarized sunglasses. And as you can see, there is a slight rainbow effect, but if you're looking at it dead on, it's really not that bad. It's just when you start twisting and turning the phone that there becomes more of a rainbow. So not bad. So now let's take a look at our camera. Camera looks nice and clear. I don't see any issues there. So as long as you keep the screen clean, you shouldn't have any issues with your pictures. Now let's test out our S Pen. S Pen is working good on the screen protector. There is a slight bit of resistance, but I don't see any issues otherwise. Then here we have a case by Caseborn. So here is the clear case. Looks really nice. Again, we get two free tempered glass screen protectors and our installation packets. Let's see how much this case weighs. 52 grams. And here is the case. The case does have a hard polycarbonate backing with our MagSafe built in, and it's surrounded by a softer TPU material. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really nice, feels good in the hand. It's got some grip to it, as well as some texture on the sides to help with grip. Buttons are also easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone, but does add some protection. In the corners, we also have these little airbag bubbles to help with drop protection. We have some textures on the side to help with grip. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can very easily access your S Pen. On the other side, we have that same texture with some lanyard holes, our power button, and our volume buttons. On the back, shows off the color of your phone really nicely. It doesn't seem to pick up very many fingerprints, which is definitely a plus, so it keeps your back nice and clean and shows off the color of your phone. We have our MagSafe ring built in, and we also have some slight raised edges around our camera lenses as well. Looks like a really nice case. Now, if you do have a MagSafe accessory, such as this power bank here, you can clip it right onto the back, and it immediately starts to charge your phone. The case also has a nice strong hold on your MagSafe accessory as well, so you don't have to worry about the MagSafe accessory just falling off the back of your phone. This case also works with regular wireless charging as well. You don't have to have a MagSafe charger for it to work. So that does seem like a really nice case. This case also does have UV layers to help keep it from yellowing over time as well. So I like the way that it feels in the hand. I like that it has the extra corner protection and the MagSafe built in. So now let's install that tempered glass screen protector. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to thoroughly clean off your screen with the alcohol wipe. I would leave the case on your phone to act as an installation guide, then dry it off. Then take one of your screen protectors, making sure the camera cutout is going towards the camera on your phone. 
We're gonna peel off the underside protector and then just install this on your phone the best you can. The, the screen should start to adhere to your phone immediately and you can kind of help it along with your finger as well. And I do have a couple bubbles on the screen that I'm going to get out with a squeegee. So let's take a look. So installation wasn't horrible. It definitely could have been lined up a little better with the uh, installation guide, but it does seem to fit pretty good on the phone. There is a gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility. I was able to get those few bubbles out. I did get a little piece of hair underneath the screen protector at the bottom but it seems to fit pretty good. We also do have a cutout for our camera on the top. As far as the touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. As far as fingerprints, it does pick up very minimal fingerprints. I don't know if you guys can see that. And you can very easily just wipe those away. Now let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints are working perfectly fine. And if you're having problems with your fingerprints, just re-register your fingerprints after you install the screen protector and maybe turn on the sensitivity for the display. I really do like these buttons on the side. They're very easily pressable and they're very clicky. It makes it very easy to find on the case. As you can see, the screen protector is crystal clear and touch is working perfectly fine. You can easily access the bottom of the phone as well as the top. And now let's see what the screen looks like looking through the lenses of polarized sunglasses. As you can see, there's really not much of a rainbow effect, which is definitely a plus. So if you're looking at the phone pretty much straight on, there's it's pretty clear. Very nice. Now let's test out our S Pen. S Pen seems to be working just fine with the screen. There is a good bit of resistance as well, but there's no issues using the S Pen. So here we have Samsung's silicone case. Let's see how much this case weighs. 45 grams. So here is the case. It's got a nice soft silicone type feel, but it's very rigid. It doesn't have any flexible parts on the case itself. Now you would think on the inside it would have some sort of microfiber, but it doesn't. It's just it's just a hard plastic, which is kind of weird, especially for Samsung. So let's put our phone inside the case. So it fits the phone very nice. Again, it's got that nice soft silicone type feel. Buttons on the side are clicky, easily accessible. If we look at the case from the side, it does have a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Our S Pen is easily accessible. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side, which are also soft silicone. And again, we have the silicone on the back here. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't seem to show fingerprints, which is definitely nice. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the camera lenses are flush with the case. So if you happen to put your phone on its back, whatever you're putting it down on will definitely come in contact with these camera lenses. So you may end up getting some scratches. I'm not really sure, but again, they are flush with the case. So no protection there whatsoever. So let's see if this works with MagSafe, and it does not have any MagSafe built in, but it does work with regular wireless charging. So my experience with these silicone cases is that the silicone will wear off after time and it'll just look horrible. It'll look like these patches of silicone are missing, and it, when you try to put it in and out of your pocket, it kind of gets caught on like the rubber silicone. So my experience with the silicone cases aren't really that great. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of them. And then here we have the Samsung S View wallet case. Let's see how much this case weighs. 73 grams. This is one of the more heavier cases, but it's still really not heavy. It's just grams. So let's take a look at the case itself. The case does have a soft microfiber lining on the inside, which is weird. Like I said, the silicone case did not, but this one does. It does have a soft rubber TPU side to help with 
protecting drops. We do have a little card holder inside here where you can put some cards or maybe some money. We have a cutout for your front screen. We have our buttons on the side which seem to be separate from the case. And it's got kind of like a like a leatherette type feel to it. All right, so let's put the phone inside the case. Fits the phone nicely. And then if you close up the front cover, it should show a little clock in the little corner here. That's pretty cool. And you open up the cover, it shows the whole lock screen. So that's pretty cool. The only gripe that I have about these cases in Samsung continuously seems to do this is they don't put anything that keeps the front cover from just flopping around. I, I just don't get it. Like if this is in your purse and you pull this out, it's it's just gonna like flop open and it's not gonna protect the front screen. I, I just I just don't understand why they keep doing that with these types of cases. So it does have a little cutout for your speaker grill so you can kind of use the phone with the front cover closed. If you're gonna hold the case you can hold it like this or you can fold back the cover and you can still easily access the power buttons and the volume buttons it does have a nice soft smooth feel to it if we look at it from the side you can see it's got a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case and on the back again it's just like that smooth type of leatherette texture and the same thing with this case the camera lenses are pretty much flush with the back of the case. So if you happen to put this in your purse or down on something, things are going to come in contact with these camera lenses and you can potentially scratch or crack them, which I don't understand. Like if you're gonna make a case, these are simple things, like these are just simple things that you'd wanna put on your case. So for me, this is definitely a no-go. One, the floppy front just kind of flops open. And two, there's no protection for your camera lenses on the back either. And if we look at the bottom, you can see we have our cutouts and you can easily access your S Pen. And if you're wondering, this case will work with regular wireless charging. Then here we have the Samsung Clear Gadget case. So here is the case itself. It is a all clear case. It's got this little gadget ring on the back that you can switch out. It comes with this lanyard, pretty good size that you can put on the case as well. And it is made of all hard plastic. There are no soft sides to this case. Let's see how much this case weighs. Forty grams with the little attachment here, but if we take the attachment off, it's now 27 grams. So you don't have to use the little gadgets. You can take them off very easily. All you have to do is kind of line up this little line with the line on the case and then just twist and you're good to go. And I have this little ring. So let's put our phone in the case. Clips into the place pretty well. Feels pretty good in the hand. Doesn't feel very slippery, which is nice. Buttons on the side are easily accessible. I like that. If we look at the case from the side, it's got an ever so slight raised edge on the top and portion of the bottom of the case here. As you can see, it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone besides the little gadget on the back. On the bottom, we have a wide open portion for all our ports and you can also easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side, and on the back shows off the color of your phone. It does pick up minor fingerprints, which is nice, and it looks like the cameras are pretty much flush with this case as well. I can't can't you just push a, can't you just put a little raised edge to protect the cameras? Is it really that hard? I I just don't get it. But anyway, here we have the little gadget, which acts as a stand, and you can also put your finger through it so you can get a better hold on your phone so you don't have to worry about it sliding out of your hand. And like I mentioned, that kickstand you can use to kind of angle it in pretty much any angle you want. It stays, it's very strong. This is made of metal right here besides this, this plastic, but this ring is super sturdy. And as you can see, it, 
it stays in pretty much any orientation you're going to put it. It's, it's really solid, which I like. Now, will this stand in portrait mode? No. So you can use it, you know, in landscape to watch some YouTube or Netflix like that, but it won't stand up in your portrait mode. And then you can kind of fold it down like that. Now, if you want to change it out, you push in this button on here and then rotate it to the right and then just take it off really easy. And then you can put on your other accessory like we have our lanyard hole. Again, you just line up those gray lines and then just twist maybe which is not working out so well there we go that was a lot harder than the other one i'm not sure why that was so hard but now you have this long lanyard on your phone i'm not sure that i would end up using this but i mean why i mean i guess you can put it on your wrist like that so it doesn't you know kind of fall out but man this thing is long like this kind of just dangling all over the place. What do you guys think about this strap? Would you rather have it a lot shorter or would you even use it? Let me know in the comments. So this is definitely a cool case. I like the idea. This strap, man, it's just, there's no button to press on here. I guess you just kind of force it and then just pull it off. Unlike the other one. Not a really big, I'm not a big fan of this strap and how it works. I really do like this little piece here. The only thing is, is it's very bulky and you can't use it with wireless charging. But if you want to wirelessly charge, you just need to take off your accessory and then put it on your wireless charger and you're all set. So this is a cool case idea. I do like how thin it is, and I like the different things that you can put on the back. It's just that this strap, not really, not really a huge fan. And then here we have the Samsung standing grip case. This is probably my favorite. So here is the case itself. It does have a silicone cover to it, and it does have a fairly rigid back and a firmer rubber side. Again, this case does not have any microfiber inside. Why? I'm not really too sure, but it's just a hard plastic. So let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really nice. It's got a soft silicone type feel to it. Feels good in the hand. Buttons are also nice and clicky, easily accessible. If you look at the case from the side, you can see it's got a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can very easily access your S Pen. We have our buttons on the side, which are also covered in silicone. On the back, again, it's covered by that soft silicone. And the camera lenses are just ever so slightly recessed but not a lot of protection there either. Now, the really cool thing about this case is it has a built-in strap here. All you simply do is slide that down and then you can slide your fingers through it to give you a better hold on your case, which I really like. It's very comfortable. You can hold it like this forever, whereas like if you had a metal ring, it would probably start to hurt your fingers, but this one is super comfortable. It's, like, it's a nice soft silicone. So you could just do this all day if you really wanted to. And then when you're done, it just kind of folds back up into the case. This is a really good idea. They started doing this a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love that. I just kind of wish that for this case, there was a, a little bit more protection for your camera lenses. But the strap seems to work pretty well, and you might be able to use it as a stand, and you can. So not only does it, it you know, act as a little holder, for your fingers, but you can also use it as a little stand to watch some YouTube or Netflix. I really like that. So here we have the UAG Metropolis LT case. Let's see how much this case weighs. 51 grams. So this case has Kevlar built into the back and it's also got MagSafe and it's been drop tested up to 18 feet. It's got a really cool feel on the back and it also does come in a couple different colors. If we look at the inside, you can see that it's got a honeycomb kind of pattern and it's been military grade drop tested. Case fits the phone really good. Feels nice in the hand. It does have a little bit of slickness to it. It's not, it's not horrible, but it is there. 
Buttons on the side are easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it has a prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a whole bunch of extra bulk to the phone. We also have some reinforcements in the corners for draw protection. On the bottom here, we have our cutouts. You can easily, very easily access the S Pen. On the side, there are those raised uh, power button and volume buttons. And on the back, again, it's got that really cool Kevlar feel. Feels really nice. And we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there as well. I do actually like the olive green. Kind of looks like a, like a military kind of look. And then if you happen to have a power bank that's MagSafe compatible, you can clip it onto the back and it'll start to charge your phone immediately. And the MagSafe is also on there pretty good, so you don't have to worry about the accessory just falling off. And the MagSafe accessory also sits flush with the phone because there's no super raised edge around the camera lenses because you can see that the portion of the power bank does protrude over the camera lens. I really like the fact that UAG thought about this because no other case that I've seen does this. And then as far as accessing the bottom part of the phone, you can easily just swipe your finger from the bottom up. Not a problem. And the same thing with the top. And then here we have the UAG Pathfinder case. Let's see how much this case weighs. 47 grams. This case has been military grade drop tested up into 18 feet, and it also has MagSafe built in. This case also comes in different colors. I'm just partial to the camo look. I think it looks pretty cool. So it's got a hard PC back surrounded by a softer TPU type rubber. On the inside, it's got the small honeycomb look along with the MagSafe and the UAG logo. Fits the phone really well, feels good in hand. This case does have a little bit more grip than the Metropolis did, so that's definitely a plus. Buttons, very easily accessible, nice and clicky, very nice. If you look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom, and you can see that texture on the side to help with the grip. On the bottom, we have our cutouts, and still easily accessible, the S Pen, not a problem. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side along with some of that texture. And on the back, again, it's got that cool camo look, kind of industrial looking. And we also do have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses. Now the same thing goes for this case as it was with the Metropolis. They did put a little cutout here for when you put a MagSafe accessory on the back. It won't lift up over this raised edge. It'll sit nice and flush with the camera and I'll show you what I mean. So here again we have the power bank MagSafe accessory. Clips onto the back and a portion of that power bank kind of goes over the camera. Well, UEG thought about that and they made a little cutout for that raised edge so it sits flush with your phone, which I have not seen any other case maker do. So that's definitely a plus. And as you can see, it is charging our phone. Again, this case has a pretty good hold on your MagSafe accessory, so you don't have to worry about it just falling off. Another really nice case. The only thing about the UAG cases is they're, they're kind of squared off. You may or may not like that. It's not horrible, but it's definitely gonna add some good draw protection for your phone, especially in these reinforced corners. And then here we have the UAG Monarch Pro case. And we'll see how much this case weighs. 62 grams. This is the heaviest UAG case, but really it's still not that heavy. This is one of the most expensive cases that UAG makes. It does have Kevlar lining built into the sides here. And this also does come in a couple different colors as well. It's got the MagSafe built in and it's been military grade drop tested up to 25 feet. On the inside, it's kind of got like a, a smooth honeycomb type pattern to it. You really can't feel the honeycomb on the inside.
goes in the phone, feels good in the hand, it's not slippery, and it's got a little bit of that honeycomb type texture on the side for grip. Buttons on the side again, nice and clicky, easily accessible. We also do have some reinforcements in the corners for extra drop protection. If we look at it from the side, we do have a raised edge around the top and the bottom of the case. And it's not super bulky, but it does add a little bit of extra bulk to the phone. There's the honeycomb pattern on the side for some extra grip. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, the same cutout for your S Pen, which makes it easily accessible. On the side here, we have that honeycomb pattern with our power button and our volume buttons. I like how the power buttons kind of protrude out from the case a little bit. It makes it easy for you to find them and press. And on the back here, it's got a really cool look. These red accents, kind of really industrial type look to it. We have our Kevlar lining on the back with our MagSafe. And we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. And if we take our MagSafe power bank, clips onto the back, and immediately charges your phone. And again, that MagSafe accessory is on the back of the case. It's not going to just fall off. And we also have it sitting flush with this case too. The back blue plastic on here is also super smooth. I think it just looks really cool. So if you're looking for the best drop protection possible, the UAG Monarch Pro is definitely going to be the case for you. Here we have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case in the 01 pattern. Let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-eight grams. This is probably one of the cooler cases that I've seen so far. It looks like the inside of your Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it's not all in the same layer. This case actually has depth to it, so like the charging port on the back here is kind of recessed underneath the battery layer. It just looks so cool. I don't know if you guys can tell from you know on camera, but in person it looks really neat. It does have a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a rubbery type TPU material. Put our phone inside the case. Feels really nice in the hand. It does have some grip to it. The buttons on the side, super easy to find and press. The power button's got kind of like a little texture on it, which I love. If you look at it from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk either. We also do have some extra reinforcements in the corners too for some drop protection there. On the bottom, we have our cutouts, our S Pen port where you can easily access the S Pen. We have our power button, which is kind of textured. It's got that serration, very nice, and our volume buttons. On the back, again, it shows off that the inside of your phone looks really cool. And we also have some slight raised edges for some camera protection there. Not the best that I've seen, but ever so slight. Now this case might have MagSafe built in. Let's try one of their power banks. I have a Spigen wireless MagSafe power bank here. And it doesn't seem to clip onto the back, which is unfortunate because that would be really cool to see that actually function. But definitely not a bad case. It will offer some protection and it looks really cool. And there's the inside of the case as well. It's got a pretty cool little texture to it too. And the Ultra Hybrid also comes in this kind of frosted black case as well. It's got all the same features. It just doesn't have the pattern. Let's see how much this case weighs. 39 grams. And then here we have one of my personal favorites, the Spigen Rugged Armor case. This is one of my favorite cases because not only does it keep the phone nice and slim, but it does offer some protection for your phone while not going overboard. It's got a really cool matte texture on the back so it doesn't show fingerprints and it's got like this carbon fiber inlay. Well, let's see how much this case weighs. 44 grams. 
It is made of a all type TPU material. There's no hard pieces on this case, but it does have some extra reinforcements in the edges for draw protection. Fits the case perfectly, feels really good in the hand. It's not grippy, but it's not slippery either. It's got kind of like this texture on the side, like a smooth rubber feel, feels nice. Buttons on the side are easily accessible. As you can see, it has a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have that kind of serration texture on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can easily access that S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. And on the back, again, it's got kind of like that matte feel with the carbon fiber inlay. It just looks really cool and it feels nice. And it's got some raised edges around our camera lenses as well. This case also does, doesn't have MagSafe built in, but again, if you don't care about that and you just want to keep your phone uh, fairly slim while offering some protection for drops, the Roygan Armor case is definitely one I would check out. I love this textured matte feel on the back. And then here we have the Spigen Tough Armor case. So I've never been too keen on the Tough Armor case. It just, I don't know, it just kind of looks cheap to me, but it's supposed to offer some pretty good drop protection on the inside here. It's got this yellow type foam. Uh, it is a two-piece design, so it's got a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a softer type TPU material. And the buttons on the side are also uh, kind of flush with the case, except for the power button. It's kind of indented with this texture. And I think this might have MagSafe built in. Yeah, it does. So that's definitely a plus. Let's see how much this case weighs. 62 grams and it's also got this little plastic kickstand on the back it's super flimsy it feels super cheap it just kind of flops around but it will get the job done so let's put our phone inside the case so it feels good in the hand it's got kind of like that smooth rubber feel to it Buttons are clicky, but if it's in your pocket, you might have a hard time trying to figure out where these buttons are because they're flush, which I really don't care for. We also do have some reinforcements in the corners for drop protection. If we look at the case from the side, there is a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It adds a little bit of extra bulk because of that polycarbonate backing, but it's not horrible. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. Again, easily access that S Pen. We have our serrated power button on the side and our volume buttons. The one thing I will say about these buttons is they're, pr they're pretty big, they're oversized. On the back, it's got kind of like this, kind of like a silicone type feel, I want to say, but it's just plastic. Again, we have that kickstand and we have some raised edges around our camera lenses. So let's test out the MagSafe. We have that Spigen MagSafe battery. Clips onto the back pretty strong and immediately starts to charge your phone. The MagSafe is also on there pretty good so you don't have to worry about the accessory just falling off and it sits flush with the back of the case. And then for that kickstand, kind of lift it up and it'll keep your phone in a landscape mode. You can't put it up in a portrait mode because the phone will just fall over. And then it clips back into place. Again, like I said, not the greatest by any means, but it will get the job done. And because this case does have MagSafe built in, let's see how the S Pen reacts on the screen. And I don't really see any issues. So you really shouldn't have any problems there using the S Pen with this case. And then here we have the Neo Hybrid case by Spigen. So here is the case. It's got a rubbery type TPU material on the back. Kind of looks woven. Feels kind of cool. This is a very flexible case as well. And it has some kind of like extra like plastic piece all the way around the edge 
and across the back of the case too. It doesn't add any rigidity, rigidity <laughs> to the case, but it just kind of makes it look a little cooler. Let's see how much this case weighs. 49 grams. Let's put our phone inside. So it was a little harder to get my phone inside the case, but we finally got it in. Feels good in the hand. It does have, it's got some good grip to it. That, that piece on the side, it adds a lot of grip to the phone. So you definitely don't have to worry about just dropping this. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky, easily accessible. The only thing I worry about is taking this in and out of your pocket. It's probably going to get stuck on these edges because it's all the way around the phone. If we look at the case from the side, it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom. It's got rounded edges on the on the side here and it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can very easily access that S Pen. We have our power button that is serrated and our volume buttons. On the back again, it's got kind of like that woven feel. It does not show fingerprints because it is matte. Looks really cool. Feels cool too, nice and smooth. And we also have some plastic raised edges around our cameras too. So not a bad case. Again, like I said, the only thing I worry about is the grippiness of these edges and you pulling it in and out of your pocket. It's either going to get stuck or this is probably going to wear away and just look kind of weird and worn out after a while. But it's not a bad case. And here is the Spigen Liquid Air Case. So this case is made of all TPU. It's very flexible. There's no rigid parts on this case whatsoever. It's got kind of like a really cool texture on the back. It doesn't show any fingerprints, which is nice. Let's see how much this case weighs. 37 grams. Put our phone in the case. Goes onto the case pretty easy. Feels nice in the hand. It does have like a smooth rubber type feel to it. Very nice. Buttons on the side. Very easily pressable. Nice and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, it says the same raised edge on the top and the bottom. And it's also not very thick either, which I love. It's got that serration for grip on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can still very easily access your S Pen. We have our power button, which is a little serrated, and our volume buttons with that texture on the side. On the back, again, it's got kind of like that, that texture. It's You can't really feel it. It's just nice and smooth, and it also doesn't show any fingerprints too, so that's definitely a plus. And we have some raised edges around our camera lenses too. So it's just a very simple, light case. Looks pretty good, and it will actually keep your phone somewhat protected. And here we have the Spigen Liquid Crystal case. Here is the case. It is crystal clear, and it's made of the flexible TPU material as well. There's no rigid pieces on here. Let's see how light it is. 37 grams. So if you want to show off the color of your phone, you can get this case. Goes in the phone pretty good. Does have some grip to it. Feels really nice. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky, easily accessible. If you look at the case from the side, you can see it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And there's also some little, like these little airbags in the corners for some drop protection there too. And it shows off the color of your phone. Absolutely love that, looks really good. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. We have our serrated power button on the side as well as our volume buttons on the back. Shows off the color of your phone. And for fingerprints, it doesn't seem to really show fingerprints, so that's definitely a plus. 
and there's also a slight raised edge around our camera lenses too. So a nice case if you want to show off the color of your phone and not hide it because you know why buy a colored phone if you're just going to put a case over it. I think it looks really cool in the natural titanium. And here we have the Spigen Slim Armor CS case. So this case is in the abyss green and as you can see it does have a card holder on the back that should hold probably at least one card. So it's got a hard kind of card holder on the back surrounded by a softer TPU rubber. It's got that interesting texture that they chose. Not sure that I would have chose like a straight line on the back. It definitely could have been a little better than that. Feels nice in the hand. It does have like a kind of like a little a slightly rough texture on the side, but it still feels like rubber. Buttons are easily accessible. If we look at it from the side, it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And as you can see, it does definitely add some extra bulk to your phone because of that a card holder. We'll see it also, we'll see if it also works with wireless charging as well. On the bottom, we have our cutouts easily access the S Pen, power button and volume buttons on the side. On the back again we have our card holder with this really weird texture that they chose. I, I think that looks really bad. <laughs> I really don't like that. They could have chose like any other texture that would have been better than that. And it also has some raised edges around our camera lenses as well. But now when you put your phone on its back because there's this gap the camera lenses won't touch which you put your phone down on anyway. But let's open this up and put one of our cards in. So we have a couple flat cards and we have one that has kind of like texture on it. So let's put this inside. So that's in there and two. No. So two flat cards will fit in there very easily. So you can see easily opens up but to get the cards out it's not too bad. The last one is a little bit harder, especially if you don't have nails like me, but you can get them out. It's not that easy, but at least it holds two cards. Now let's put in our embossed one, and then we'll put in one of the flat ones. So you can, it's, it's able to hold two cards, one flat, one embossed, or two flat. I don't think it'll fit two embossed cards because it might just be a little too thick. But that first card is very easy to get out and the second one it's a little harder because it's kind of in there. So that's pretty cool. And this also does come in other colors as well. So now let's see if you can wirelessly charge through this case with cards in the back card holder. And it does still seem to work. Now I wouldn't recommend wirelessly charging this with the cards in there because you want the least resistance as possible when you're wirelessly charging, but as you can see, it will work. And then here we have the Cryo Armor case in red. And this is definitely one of the cooler cases that Spigen makes. As you can see, it kind of looks like it's lighting up, but all it is is a layer underneath the back here. It looks really cool. I think they also have this in blue as well. So it does have a firmer backing on it, surrounded by a softer TPU material, and this does not have MagSafe. Let's see how much the case weighs. Forty-five grams. So it fits the phone really well. Feels nice in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth, rubbery type feel. Buttons on the side are also nice and clicky, easily pressable. If we look at it from the side, we do have that same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. We also do have some reinforcements in the corners for draw protection. It's got kind of like this little line for a grip on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can very easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and volume buttons on the side. And on the back, again, it's got kind of like that really cool 
red light up look and it's kind of rubbery feeling too looks really cool we also have a full cutout for all our cameras and it's also raised above the lenses for protection there too another one of my favorite cases just because of the way that it looks so cool it's it's different then here we have one of the newer cases the enzo aramid case so this is one of their more premium cases. The aramid fiber on the back feels nice and smooth and it doesn't show fingerprints. Feels really nice. We also do have what looks like a metal ring around the camera lenses for extra protection there. And our metal buttons on the side. Very nice looking. On the inside, we also have a, a nice soft felt material. So it protects the glass in the back and it's also got MagSafe built in. It also has a nice firm back surrounded by a softer TPU rubber. Let's see how much this case weighs. Forty eight grams, not bad. It's still really light. Fits the phone really well, feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like that smooth rubber type feel. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily pressable. And as you can see, they don't protrude much from the case. So while it's in your pocket, you might have a little trouble finding it, but holding it naturally outside of your pocket feels nice. There's nothing for your fingers to get you know, caught on. If you look at it from the side, we have the same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't look to add much bulk to the phone. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can access your S Pen very easily. On the side, we have a lanyard hole and those metal power and volume buttons. On the back, again, it's got that metal ring around the camera lenses, and it's also raised above them to protect them too. And then we have that smooth aramid fiber. Looks really nice. We have this little Spigen logo right in the bottom there. So cool. Really like this case. Now let's test out the MagSafe. So I thought it did have MagSafe, but I was mistaken. Yeah, so that's interesting. It looked like there was a MagSafe ring in the, in the middle here, but there's no MagSafe for this case. You would have thought for the price that they're asking for this case, they would have included it, but they didn't. So again, if you want one of their more premium looking cases, definitely looks good. I'd go with this Aramid fiber case. And then here we have Whitestone Dome's Lappy case with MagSafe built in. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is their clear Lappy case. It fits the phone really well, shows off the color of your phone as well, because who buys a colored phone and then covers it up with a dark case? So again, this case does have MagSafe built in. It is crystal clear. It's got a nice hard polycarbonate backing surrounded by a softer type of TPU material. I don't have any screen protector on the phone right now, so you can see how much the raised edges are around the front of the phone. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk, which is really nice. And you can see the thick layer on the back of the polycarbonate that protects the back of the phone as well. On the bottom, we have all our cutouts. We also have a nice cutout for the S Pen, so you can easily access that if you need. On the other side, we have our power button and our volume buttons, which are separated. On the back again, we have that MagSafe ring, and we also have a ever so slight, it's almost pretty much flush with the cameras on the back of this case. And if you put the phone on its back and you need to type, the case won't wobble around like some of the other cases either. It also does have a UV coating to keep down those fingerprints, and it seems to be doing a pretty good job because I don't really see any fingerprints on the back, so that's definitely a huge plus for me. The case does feel nice in the hand. It's got a bit, a bit of a grip to it. Buttons are also nice and clicky, easily accessible. Nice case. So now let's see how well the S Pen works because the case does have MagSafe built in. And I do not see any issues with the S Pen 
Everything seems to be working just fine. And you can also very easily access the bottom of the phone as well. It doesn't have much of a lip that comes up so much to where you can't access the bottom of the phone. And let's see how much this case weighs. Forty-eight grams if you're interested. Now let's check out the MagSafe on the back. Here I have a MagSafe power bank. Clips onto the back really nicely with a strong hold and it immediately starts to charge your phone. And that MagSafe on the back is got a really nice strong hold so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off either. Yeah, it's got a pretty pretty nice strong hold. Now the hold that the MagSafe accessory has on your case will also determine how well the magnets are in the accessory as well. But this one has a nice strong hold on this case. I tested this case out on the S24 Plus as well and it was also a really nice case and this one seems to be too. We also have some protection in the edges. You can see the little extra bubble in the corners. So if you happen to drop your phone and it hits the corner, your phone should be protected. And then here we have a kickstand case by Humix. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. So here is the case. It's got a nice frosted backing that doesn't show a lot of fingerprints. It's got MagSafe built in and it also has this metal kickstand that surrounds the camera for some extra protection there. So this case has a lot to offer for a pretty good price. So let's see how much this case weighs. Forty nine grams. I'm definitely a huge fan of the matte cases because again it keeps the fingerprints down. Fits the phone really well. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky. Easily pressable. Feels good in the hand. It's got a smooth rubber type feel to it. If we look at it from the side you can see that it's got a slight edge on the front and the bottom or the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. On the bottom we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. On the other side we have our power buttons and our volume buttons. And then if we look at the back you can see it's got that nice matte look where you can still see the color of your phone. It doesn't show very many fingerprints at all. We have our MagSafe ring and there's also a pretty big edge around our camera lenses for protection there. So if you happen to put your phone on its back, nothing should really touch these camera lenses. And then this metal kickstand. I absolutely love this feature. I think more cases should have it. It comes in handy and it doesn't really add any extra bulk to the phone because there's usually already a raised edge around the camera lenses, but it's not functional. Whereas here we get a metal kickstand so you can lay your phone down in a landscape mode or you can stand it upright in portrait and then it just folds flat against the phone. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> and then if you happen to have a MagSafe power bank like I have here or other MagSafe accessories, you can simply clip it onto the back and it'll start to charge your phone. Now, one thing I will tell you is that the Puck MagSafe rings will work much better on this phone because of the way that the camera ring is here. For this power bank to sit flush on the phone, you're gonna need to angle it like this. As you saw and heard, it clipped really well onto the back of the phone, but unfortunately, for it to sit flush on the back of the case, this is how you're probably gonna have to have your MagSafe battery. As you can see, it is charging the phone. We got wireless charging on the bottom here. 12, two hours, 41 minutes until fully charged. And it's on there, like it's on the case really well. You do not have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. But again, it's gonna have to be in this orientation unless they make a MagSafe battery that fits uh, the way that the camera lenses are. So I have another MagSafe power bank here. And again, it's not flush with the case if you tried to uh, put it the way that it's supposed to be. So. The best option, again, is just going to be using those Puck MagSafe batteries.
And this also does work with regular wireless charging as well. Really nice case. I love the features and that matte look on the back. I, this is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Now this case doesn't add a lot for drop protection, but it, it will add some protection for your phone, especially for slight drops and scratches and things like that. And here we have a case by Case Coup. So this case comes with a little plastic stand that just folds up when you need to use it because the case itself doesn't have any kickstands. It's just a very simple matte case that has a hard polycarbonate back with a softer TPU type rubber. This is kind of like the Humix case that we just tested, but the Humix had a MagSafe uh, ring on the back as well as that metal kickstand. Whereas this one is just, it's a lot lighter and just a simple case. So let's see how much this case weighs. 39 grams. Put our phone into the case. Phone fits well, feels nice in hand. It does have a smooth rubber type feel to it. Buttons are very clicky, easily pressable. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it's got a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. It's pretty slim. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. On the back, again, it's got that nice matte look so you can still see the color of your phone, but it doesn't really show any fingerprints and it feels nice and smooth. And we do have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses. So, not a bad case, just something very simple to put on your phone to protect from scratches and very minimal drops. Then here we have the OtterBox Symmetry case. So here is the case. It's got a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a softer TPU type rubber. Let's see how much this case weighs. 44 grams. Fits the phone pretty good. Feels good in the hand. It does have a grip to it, so you don't have to worry about dropping it. The buttons don't seem to move. At least the power button. There's like, it doesn't feel like you're pressing it at all. Let's see if I can. Wow, so the power button does work, but it doesn't even feel like you're pressing anything. Whereas the volume buttons actually have a click. But the power button is just nothing. It feels like you're pushing on a, a piece of plastic that doesn't move. So that's not good. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it's got an ever so slight raised edge around the front of the phone. It also doesn't add much bulk to the phone either. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can access your S Pen fairly easily too. If you don't have any nails, you're gonna have problems trying to get that out. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. On the back, shows off the color of your phone, does pick up some slight fingerprints, not horrible, and it's got a raised edge around the camera lenses. So not a horrible case. It definitely seems like it would protect your phone a little better than most especially if you happen to drop it, but the, the power button on the side just, it doesn't move. It's, uh, it's pretty horrible. I wouldn't recommend this case. I, I like the buttons that actually feel like you're pressing something because especially if was, this was in your pocket, how would you know that you were pressing the power button? You wouldn't. So I would definitely not recommend this case. Then here we have the Protect case by Zag. This has been drop tested up to 10 feet. So here is the case. It's just a very simple, kind of like flexible TPU case. It's got some ridges on the back. Let's see how much this weighs. 51 grams. Put our phone in the case. Fits the phone pretty good. It does have a, a smooth rubber feel to it in the hand. Buttons are somewhat clicky. They're almost flush with the phone. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it's got a very slight raised edge on the top and bottom of the case. 
It also just adds a little bit of extra bulk to the phone. No grip or anything on the side here. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. And then on the back, again, we have that kind of like that rigid texture. And we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses. I mean, it's a very simple case. I, I don't like the way that the buttons feel. Like I mentioned, they're not super clicky. It's just, it's just a very soft, light click. Uh, I'm not really impressed with the Zag case. I can't remember how much I paid for this, but I don't know that I would buy it again or recommend it. But this case does work with regular wireless charging. And it says it should protect your phone up to a 10 foot drop. So take it for what it's worth. If you like the, the pink case, then this might be for you. But I don't know that I would recommend this to anybody. And then here we have the Spec Presidio 2 grip case. It's been drop tested up to 13 feet. It's made from recycled plastics and it's got antimicrobial properties. So here is the case, looks pretty interesting. It has a hard kind of soft backing to it and the edges of the case are also pretty rigid as well. I do like the contrast with the kind of bronze look with the gray, that definitely looks pretty cool. Let's see how much this case weighs. Forty-seven grams, and the inside of the case is also a hard plastic. So the phone feels pretty nice in the hand. It's got these ridges on the side to help with grip. Buttons are nice and clicky. They're not super easy to press, but they do work. If we look at the case from the side, you can see there's a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case and there are those ridges on the side to help with grip. It also is pretty slim on the phone. On the bottom we have our cutouts and you can easily access your S Pen. We have our power and volume buttons which are all separate from the case and separated from each other which I love. On the back it's got that pretty cool texture that feels kind of like soft silicone feels pretty nice and we have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses so it looks visually it looks like a nice case and I'm not super happy with how hard the buttons are to press but they do click and it might protect your phone if you happen to drop it it does work with regular wireless charging So it's not, it's not really a bad case. I definitely like the way that it looks. I like the way that it feels. But again, like I said, I don't like the way that these buttons are like, you have to press them a lot harder than a lot of the other cases. And that I do not like. They could definitely be a lot easier to press and they're not. So personally, I wouldn't buy this case if I was gonna buy it again. So I wouldn't recommend it. And here we have a clear case by Motive. So here is the case. It is clear. It's got MagSafe built in. It also has a nice firm hard back as well as hard edges. Let's see how much this case weighs. 45 grams. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone nicely, feels good in the hand. Buttons are clicky, easily pressable. If we look at the case from the side, you can see there is a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We also have our cutouts on the bottom here. We have our S Pen easily accessible. We also have our power button and volume buttons on the other side. In the back, nice and clear. Show off the color of your phone. Peel off the protector, and it looks really nice. As you can see, again, we have that MagSafe ring on the back, and we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses. 
So if you happen to have a power bank like I have here, you can clip it right onto the back of the case and it starts to charge your phone. As you can see, the power bank sits flush with the case and it's got a nice strong magnetic hold on the back of the case as well. So your MagSafe accessory isn't just gonna fall off. This also works with regular wireless charging as well. And we also have some extra protection in the corners as well, in case you happen to drop your phone. You don't have to worry about your phone getting damaged. And because there's a nice big cutout around our camera lenses here, this should accommodate the camera protectors as well pretty easily. Now this case does have a rubber coating on the edges of the case as well, but it's a very firm rubber, so you don't have to worry about this, the edges wearing out easily over time. And here we have a life-proof case by Motive. And here is the case. Now this is a two-piece design case. Your phone goes inside the case and then it's kind of covered up on the back here. So no water, no snow, no dirt, anything will get inside this case and it'll keep your phone nice and clean. So inside the case, we get this little lanyard and a little wipe. We get a squeegee. We also get some extra fingerprint sensor stickers as well, our instructions and then the bottom of the case. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to clean off your screen on your phone really well, because anything that's on your screen will get trapped inside the case and you don't want that. So once you've cleaned your phone screen off really well, you're gonna to wanna to take the top of the case. We need to remove this little yellow sticker in here, trying not to touch the inner portion of the screen. Then take your phone and we're going to place it inside the case with the bottom going in first and then press in the top, just like that. Then you're gonna take the back plate, we're gonna place this over our phone, and then just work your way around the case and make sure everything is snapped together. And it should be sealed all the way around the phone. So once that's done, you can peel off the back protector and then do the same thing for the front of your phone. Then make sure the little fingerprint section right here doesn't have any bubbles on it, so just press that down and you're all set. Feels really nice in the hand. It's got a, a nice grippy feel to it. The buttons are also nice and grippy, easily pressable, nice and clicky. If you look at the case from the side, you can see there is a raised edge all the way around the screen, and it does add some extra bulk to the phone, but you're also getting that waterproofing. On the sides here, we have some serrations for grip. On the bottom, we have our ports. This little port here is for your microphone, and you can switch this little thing to each side, depending on if you want it to be waterproof or if you're gonna be using it to talk to somebody on the phone. I'll be letting you listen to what each one of these ports sound like. Then we also have our cover for our S Pen, which you can easily access right there. I'll take that out and we'll test the S Pen on the screen. So the S Pen seems to be working just fine on this screen. This is a film screen protector, and there is quite a bit of resistance with the S Pen, but it seems to work just fine. And when you're done, you can put the S Pen back in, and then just make, make sure that this is plugged up so it is waterproofed. And we also have a plug for our charging port as well. If we look at the other side, we have that same serration with our rubber power and volume buttons that are separated. And on the back, shows off the color of your phone, it does have some resistance when you touch it, and your camera lenses are also totally protected on the inside. So now let's test out our fingerprints. Touch and fingerprints seem to be working just fine. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. And again, touch is working perfectly fine. You can access the top and the bottom of the screen. There is, a sl there is some resistance when you run your finger over the screen itself because it's not glass, it is plastic, but you can still manage. 
So now let's see if there's a rainbow effect if you're using polarized sunglasses. So it looks like there's absolutely no rainbow effect on the screen except for the little place where the fingerprint sensor is. I think that's definitely manageable. And then let's check out our camera. Camera looks pretty clear. I don't see any issues with that either. And now let's do the sound test. So again, like I mentioned, this little port on, on the bottom here needs to be switched depending on what you need the case for. If you need it to be waterproofed, you're going to want to move it to one side and the other side is going to be for talking on the phone. So right now, as it sits, it's open for you to talk on the phone. So let's hear what that sounds like. So this is what the audio sounds like with the port open for you to actually talk to somebody and the phone not be waterproof. So this is what the audio sounds like with the port open for you to actually talk to somebody and the phone not be waterproof. So you can definitely hear very easy through the case, especially with the little port open. And it sounds like your voice being heard on the other end of the line also works really well. So now I'm going to plug up the hole to make it waterproof and we're going to see what the audio quality sounds like then. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the phone waterproofed and the little microphone hole plugged up. I want to see if there's any difference in the sound quality as well as the audio recording. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the phone waterproofed and the little microphone hole plugged up. I want to see if there's any difference in the sound quality as well as the audio recording. So there's definitely a difference in the sound quality. It sounded like I was underwater when I was talking on the phone, but if you needed to, to use your phone with it still being waterproofed, I'm sure the person on the other end would still be able to hear you as you heard from the recording but it definitely sounds a lot better when you unplug the microphone port. So now we're gonna put the phone into a vase of water to see if the case actually does what it says it's gonna do and keep your phone nice and dry. All right, so here we have our vase of water. Here we have the life-proof case. It is totally waterproofed. I have the little microphone port set to waterproofing on the side. So now we're gonna play a YouTube video and I'm going to be putting it in this large vase of water. All right, so there we have our YouTube video going, and it's going into the vase. So I'll just let it sit in there for about a minute, and then we'll move it around and take it out. All right, so it's been in the vase for about a minute. There have been some water bubbles coming up from the top, so I hope it's still waterproofed. I'll kind of move it around in the vase here a little bit. Then we'll take it out and we'll see if the phone is still nice and dry. So the screen is still working, as you can see. I'm gonna dry it off really well because when I take the case off, I don't want any water getting inside that was outside to ruin the test. Phone looks pretty dry to me. Don't see any issues yet. Okay, everything looks nice and dry. Let's test out our camera really quick. <laughs> camera is still working our rear camera as you can see the rear camera is also nice and clear even with the protector on it all right so i think it's about time to take it out of the case so oh there's actually all right make sure my hands are all dry and then we'll take the case off here So it looks nice and dry to me. There are some water spots from it splashing from the, the outside of the case. Let's push it out. Looks nice and dry on the inside. 
the water that we see is on the outside of the case. And there's our phone. Nice and dry. So it definitely did its job. No issues. Very nice. So as you saw, the case definitely did its job. It kept my phone nice and dry and also clean. So if you're a person that likes to do outdoor sports, you like to snowboard, uh, water sports, hiking, biking, anything like that, not only is the case going to keep your phone nice and dry, but it's also going to keep it nice and clean and dust free. And here we have a minimalist case by Later Case. So the case does have a pretty nice presentation. The cover is held in place with magnets and just pull this little strap down to expose the case itself. Now here is the case. It does feel super light. It's got a little bit of a, an odor to it. It's not bad, it kind of smells, I don't know, something like, like a cleaning supply or something like that. But as you can see, the case is pretty thin. It does not have any MagSafe built in. Let's see how thin, the, see how much the case weighs. 14 grams. That's probably the lightest case that I've seen so far. So let's put our phone inside the case. Fits on the phone pretty nicely, feels good in the hand. And as you can see, the phone is pretty much as thick as it was before I put the case even on it. It's got a very nice smooth feel to it. The buttons are exposed on the side so we can easily press those. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a slight raised edge in each one of the corners of the phone. It's not fully covered on the top and the bottom, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it, I guess it definitely makes the case easier to take off. As you can see, the phone is still super thin. On the bottom, there is a hole cut out. There's like no protection for the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen. There's a cutout for your power button and your volume buttons on the side. And on the back, you have that nice aramid fiber. This is the blue. Feels pretty nice. And it continues around the camera lenses as well. So not a bad case. I've done some other case reviews on aramid fiber minimalist cases. And I would definitely say that they're, they're nicer than this one. The main things that I don't really like are the fact that there's no protection for the top and the bottom of your phone. You could have easily continued the Arabid fiber across the bottom and the top of the case. So I'm not sure why they opted to do that. There's also no MagSafe built in. So if you happen to have a MagSafe accessory, it's not gonna stick onto the back of the phone, which they could have easily installed as well. And this case is fairly pricey. There are some other minimalist cases that I've done reviews on, kind of like Thinborn and Pataka that do add the MagSafe accessory, and they're also covered on the top and the bottom, which would be, I would think, a better option than this for the money. And you can also see the weaving of the Kevlar. It's really not that great <laughs> as compared to, again, some of the other cases that I've done reviews on. It just doesn't look as premium. It kind of looks a little bit more sloppy but the case does work with regular wireless charging. So really there's not much more to say about this case. Like I mentioned before, for the money, this case is $60. It doesn't come with any MagSafe. The Kevlar weaving really isn't that spectacular and you don't have any coverage on the top and the whole bottom of your phone. You can definitely get other cases that are about the same price that actually come with the screen protector for about the same amount of money. Case in point, Thinborn has a case that actually looks a lot better than this, gives better coverage, is about the same price, and offers a tempered glass screen protector. So those are my thoughts on this case. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me, or do you prefer the case to not have any coverage on the top and the bottom? So if you guys stuck with me this far, thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if there was a case that you didn't see in this video that you'd like to see in future videos, let me know in the comments below. Now I'm gonna give you the cases that I like the best out of all the ones we've tested here today based on a few different categories. 
Now my favorite case picks are by no means definitive. I definitely urge you to go back and check out all the cases that I've done a review on in this video because these are simply cases that were my favorite, but there might be cases in this review that might fit your needs better. So the first category is going to be the best clear case. And my pick was the Rinky Fusion Clear Matte Case. I absolutely love matte cases because it doesn't show fingerprints nearly as much as the other clear cases. It's very affordable. It fits the phone really well. It keeps the phone nice and slim while still giving it some protection. So if you simply just need a regular clear case that offers some protection, I would definitely recommend the Rinky Fusion Clear Matte Case. Next up is going to be my favorite everyday carry case. First up, we have the Banks Armor Pro. This case is made from Kevlar. It does offer some protection to your phone while keeping it somewhat slim, and it just feels really premium. It's got a nice metal ring around your camera lens, and it just feels great in the hand. Next, we have the Rinky Fusion X case. This case not only looks really cool, but it also gives your phone some pretty good protection while keeping your phone somewhat slim. It looks really cool on the phone. The buttons are nice and clicky, and again, I love that camo look and it feels really good in the hand. The back of the phone also offers some rigidity as well. And then lastly, we have the Spigen Rugged Armor Case. Again, like I mentioned before, this case I've used multiple times on phones that I've had in the past for my everyday carry case. The phone's dropped on the floor, probably from waist height, and it survived without any issues. It does have some reinforcements in the corners, so it does offer some more drop protection but the phone is totally made of a, a softer TPU and there's absolutely no, no hard portions on the case at all. Next up is the best kickstand case. Now this easily goes to the Humix case that I have right here. Not only does it have a nice matte back that keeps the fingerprints down, it also has MagSafe built in and the kickstand is built into the camera ring so it doesn't add any extra bulk to the phone. It also adds some extra protection to the camera lens as well because the kickstand is made of metal. Next up, we have ESR's Flick Stand case. Again, the same thing with this case. It's got a nice matte back. It also has MagSafe built in, and the kickstand is also very sturdy and made of metal and built in flush to the bottom of the case. Next up is the best minimalist case. Now all three of these cases have MagSafe built in and they're all pretty close in comparison. There was only slight things that kind of edged them out over other cases. Now my first choice was the Banks Armor Air case. This case is made from 600D Kevlar. Feels really great in hand. It also feels really premium because the camera lens protector is made of metal. Again, it's got MagSafe built in, it's super light, and it's really strong. Next up, we have the Thinborn case, which is, again, made from 600D Aramid Fiber. It also has MagSafe built in, and this one was really close to the Pataka case, but the reason that it came in second was because it came with a couple free screen protectors. It's super light, nice and strong, and it feels nice in the hand. And then third, we have the MagEasy Case 4 by Pataka. Again, this case is really nice, feels really good in the hand. The camera lens protector on the back is made of plastic, but it also does have MagSafe built in. It's nice and light, super strong, and again, it feels really good in the hand. Next up, we have the cases that's gonna give you the best drop protection while still keeping your phone as slim as possible. The first case I would recommend is the iBlaze on Armor Box case. Now the iBlaze on Armor Box and the Mag XT case by Suitcase came in really close, but the iBlaze on case edged out the Mag XT because it comes with a film screen protector. So your phone is totally protected 360 degrees. I absolutely love the metal kickstand on the back that also doubles as a camera cover, and it also keeps your phone somewhat slim while adding some really good drop protection. The next case I would recommend is the Soupcase Mag XT. Again, this case offers some really good drop protection and it also has that metal kickstand on the back that also doubles as a camera cover. It's got MagSafe built in and it also keeps your phone somewhat slim. Third, we have the Mouse Limitless 5.0 case. Now this case is not nearly as bulky as the first two cases that I mentioned, but it's also gonna give you some really good drop protection. It feels great in the hand. I love the way that the buttons feel. It also has MagSafe built in, and it has the air mid fiber on the back. And on the inside of the case, it has this aerogel lining that's gonna protect your phone from shocks if you happen to drop your phone. 
And then fourth, we have the Base Duo Hybrid. This case has a nice matte backing that again is gonna keep the fingerprints down. It's also got MagSafe built in. It's got a nice premium metal camera protector. It feels good in the hand and it's also been drop tested up to 12 feet. Next, we have the cases that are gonna keep your phone protected most from drops, but they are a little more bulky. First up, we have the Poetic Spartan case. This case is gonna keep your phone protected 360 degrees because it does come with the built-in screen protector and it also has a kickstand on the back. Again, like I mentioned, it is a little bit more bulky, but it's got some reinforcements all over the case to help with drops. Second, we have Suitcase's UB Pro case. This is by far one of my most favorite drop protective cases that I pretty much recommend, I think, almost every year. It is a little bit more bulky, but it's definitely gonna protect your phone. This case also does come with the built-in screen protector to protect your phone 360 degrees. It's got a built-in kickstand on the back. It feels really good in the hand, and I love the new patterns that they have this year. And then third, we have the UAG Monarch Pro. This case just looks awesome. I love all the accented colors that it comes with. It's got MagSafe built in. It's also been military grade drop tested up to 25 feet. And it's also got a Kevlar inlay to make it feel a little more premium. Now there is no protection for your screen like some of the other cases here or camera protectors. And it is pretty expensive. But because of everything I've mentioned before, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. And then lastly, we have the best overall protective case. This goes to Motive's LifeProof case. Not only is this case gonna protect your phone from drops, but it's also gonna keep it nice and dry and clean from any snow, any water, any dirt, pretty much anything that life can throw at you. So if you like doing things outdoors, I would definitely recommend the Motive LifeProof case. So of all the cases that I reviewed today, which one was your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've already bought any of these cases, let me know your experience. I'm really interested to know what your favorites were. And I also recommend checking out my best and worst screen protector video for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you guys wanna check that out, click on the video you see on your screen right now. If you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you out in any way, it would really help out my channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.